Welcome to another episode of the podcast. Today's guest, Ty McEwen from I Was Afraid and Pet, P-E-T-T, and another band that has not been named yet that I am super excited about. Me and Ty have crossed paths a few times, but never really got the chance to sit down and just shoot the shit. And today we did, and it was awesome, actually. I had a really good time. The conversation was stellar. Had a couple of delicious beers, and just, man, it was like meeting a new friend, really, honestly. I had a great time with this podcast. I think you will, too. You know, enjoy. Yeah. You, it, have you had this yet? This is really good, actually. It is very good. Current mood from Lost 40. Shout out John Comfort for leaving these in my refrigerator. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Or that I, guy. Yeah, I forgot it was a Sunday. You know, I always forget. Still. Last night, I had the like intention of going and grabbing something because like when I'd listened to this in the past, I know that there was some drinking going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to take part. I wanted to uh, join in on the fun. Uh, I've been remodeling. Like I said, I'm moving, so I've yeah. been out remodeling. So when you're out there like 11 hours just zoned into your work, it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, and then you just forget. So I wake up today and I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, clutch. Have, yeah. And then I was at that house and John had come and helped me do some stuff. Yeah. And I opened the fridge to get some bread. I was going to make a little lunch. Lucky day. And I was like, oh, shit, beer. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I went and put him in the car immediately, so I didn't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you were talking about moving and stuff. I know we just chatted about you moving uh, to a different area, but I was going back to the back area, like mm-hmm. the construction that's going oh, on back there. Oh, dude. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get in to that back road, but I ended up like <laughs> doing like three or four different yep. comebacks at it because it looked a little deeper than what it was it, when, yeah. I, when I went across it that first time. To, you know, They have that whole entrance just janked up yeah. completely. Because I saw the Larry's over there, and I remembered you had said a pizza place, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Battle of the pizza places. Yeah, there's pizza only places. 13 pizza places in this town now. Yeah, exactly. How many of them start with L, though? It did. <laughs> Uh, Luigi's, Larry's, and then probably another one. Regional warfare. <laughs> pizza. Yeah, Regional pizza warfare, places pizza. that start with L. Oh, man. See, I was talking about, like, getting into show mode, and you yeah. just kind of, like, lose track, man. And you, and you want everything, for myself, I just want everything to be so perfect and so good, and I'm just so focused on getting it done. Yeah. And then after, you don't even get to calm down, because you just get the van packed up, yeah. you know, and try to do it. Quick, so in case you're not the last man, you're trying to come back in. A to-do list Dude, <laughs> in your head, crazy. checking off stuff. Yeah, I feel that definitely. Um, I do have, I guess, the one thing different than that that I've got going is, I guess, if like there is a mess up in a set, maybe it's because there have been so off, so many <laughs> nowadays <laughs> that I can kind of like disassociate it from that and be like, well, I guess there's always next time kind of deal. I don't linger too much anymore nowadays on like things that go wrong oh, I while still playing. Beat myself you know, up I, I do like. To myself, like internally, I'm thinking about it, but then, like, I do also know how to be like, man, it's not the end of the world, you know? Like, it's one of those things, like, I really wish I would have not been a dummy yeah. <laughs> and done that a little better, but. My, it, biggest, my biggest issue with myself is I just I beat myself up to like I, it makes me v- v- like violently angry. Yeah. I'm just like I don't want to be here. I want to leave. That happened in Memphis, man. Like well, I played the worst I think I've played in years. Really? And everyone's like, dude, I thought you were fine. You're like, how long back perfect. was this? This was like last weekend. Okay, well then. And I was like. I hate everything about this. I just want to go home. Yeah, and that's always the comment that you get to whenever you think that you've done anything wrong, like about what you've done, or like I know personally whenever I like no, it's no. <laughs> yeah. I'm like no. Yeah. Yeah, all <laughs> I know you're saying like, that. What but... song? I'm like all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a walk in my terrible. shoes. You'll see how I feel. <laughs> but that is how the usual response to that too is that when everybody's just like thought it sounded fun. <laughs> yeah. Sounded oh, good. did it? Fun. Oh, did it? Yeah. I'm gonna take your word for it, or I might not. <laughs> I usually don't until yeah. later or they'll show me a video and be like, where'd you mess up? And I'm like, y- it's just, it was a f- more of a feeling you know? ingrained in you, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. You got to reach your expectations. You set for yourself is the whole big deal about that. And I set them way too high. Yeah. I know the feeling. too much of a, not a perfectionist, but too much of a, I don't know what the word would be like. Maybe perfectionist is it, but I feel, I don't feel like that's the key. Cause I like to get loose and have fun yeah. and understand I'm going to screw up. So I don't hold myself to like 
Yeah. Oh, don't screw up at all. It's almost that, like hanging out in that area too long and will cause the... Right, <laughs> right, exactly. Like, well, it'll be all right. And that's like not. In, you're like, like oh, when we hell. play new songs, I'll be like, yeah, I'm probably going to screw this all in the mic, like yeah. to the crowd. Like, forgive me. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. screw this all up. We should have <laughs> kept this in the practice shed and not played it right now. Funnily enough about that, like I have been uh, venturing off into, you know, there, I was afraid being one band that I've been in a long time. Uh, this new band I'm starting, well, that has been around for about like the last year. Oh, I uh, want to get into that. Okay, well, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've just got a funny story we'll get back to that relates to what Go you ahead. just said about we'll just that. jump right off into it man well singing in a band is something that you you know have built up your experience on and everything like that well I haven't never really done it and it's, it's different, a, huh? t- well I've, I've done it in the form of like trying to put what could be described as bad <laughs> vocals yeah, yeah. on what could be Same. described <laughs> as a bad band. <laughs> so, so I will say that that an attempt has been made in the past, but uh, you know, present it was one of those things where, um, and more so, not even your own parts, which you I think are like more in realm. Of, like you probably have your own singing parts or your own vocal yeah. parts in general. Right. I more so want to be like um, harmony adding harmony. on. Yeah, 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 that's. I feel like that's important. Uh, if you can pull it off, can if you can't pull it off, styles for sure. Yeah, if you can't pull it off, I feel like it's one of those things. Just like steer away, steer clear from it. What most things in music too. Like if you can't pull it off, how it needs to be done, I guess. In my own personal output of music, if you're more then, of a purist thing, like now there's pedals. Like my buddy, he's a two yeah. piece. And he wants harmonies, so now he just bought a harmony yeah, pedal. Harmony it, pedal, and it works just. I mean, do the vocal harmony pedals work that well? I mean, I haven't really it's experimented with it. Pretty sweet. Any. It's different from a real harmony. So yeah. don't get me wrong. It, there is a level of. Uh, 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 like digitalness to it, like yeah. it's it's like oh, like there's an no way a human's pulling this up, <laughs> and because of the suspension of disbelief, you see there's only two people and one microphone, mm-hmm. so it kind of gives you like, but the way he's that's cool though, but he used that to his advantage, so he made the part more you know on, on purpose to sound like mm-hmm. that, so he wrote to the lack thereof rather than just trying to force it. The guys who can like do that with like less and make it the most <laughs> yeah. are like the real geniuses out there. I think like there's this one guy, uh, his name is Lando. We saw play in Texas a long time ago and he had like just l- like four or five loop pedals on his pedal board. He had a drum set set up yeah. and he would get up and stand up and play guitar parts and like loop five or six lines and make them like crazy and then sit down on the drums and play like and play along drums. with it and everything like that too. It's crazy. That stuff always gets me. freaks. <laughs> yeah, freaks. <laughs> Tire fire. I mean, he's he's doing it. Yeah, and just like I guess when you just Henry. have the ability of just layering all that kind of stuff in your head, like on your own. I don't have it. Yeah, I can play all the instruments. Yeah, but as far as like getting to that point, nah, there's no way. It's difficult. More power to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go guys, go. <clears throat> so how is the uh, new project, man? I'm, I'm, that's actually well, my most anticipated band of the year is this one. Well, thank you for saying that. That's yeah. that's nice to uh, hear. From I know. All the people now you, yeah. All the people in it, and it's just like this is this is good. One, we need more yeah. bands. Yeah, I so agree. I always get excited when a new band crops up. Yeah, but this one I've been watching pretty well, closely. Awesome. Yeah. Think, well, thank you for saying that. Uh, <laughs> I've actually got a couple coming up because I'm sure you you might have seen like Chris and Zach posting around mm-hmm. a lot of their stuff around too, uh, which they they've had those songs like working on for like a while now. As everybody's yes. kind of seen them post about it, but uh, Evan and I, who Evan and I was afraid too, mm-hmm. are a part of that band now. Which that doesn't have any name or anything like that yet, but yeah. it's, it is worth being excited about. I think in terms of like from how my perspective is on it, I just know if the people in it, yeah, they're creative, yeah, so it's going to be good, and they are good at what they do. Exactly, Zach's an awesome drummer, and, and Chris writes awesome riffs. So, so ex- yes, yeah, exactly. and they've built their chemistry up already, mm-hmm. and uh, oh, they worked on their chemistry for a while. Yeah, and then like, and then I talked to them about possibly even playing guitar in that band at the very beginning, uh, but like I'd wanted to try and play bass in a band. Oh yeah, I, it's I just, fun, dude. I'm very. Um, adamant about the fact that like a rhythm section like can be a make or break a lot of the time which i'm sure a lot of people probably are too but um i don't know a great bass you yep. know is good is great for me following which, a great drummer is even better yeah and that's great too and like zach is fun to play along with as well and um and that's just one of those things where like it was a new challenge of like picking up a bass and like playing in an actual project uh-huh. that you can like and that's one that playing bass on will be fun because you know or it has been fun more so just because like riffing along yep. with those that kind of thing is uh, pretty exciting plus live man i i played bass in a band called truth farm yeah. a long time ago yeah and my favorite part not only do you get none of the credit <laughs> for making the whole thing sound that's beefy. bullshit 
<laughs> Unless you're like fucking, more credit. you know, uh, yeah. whoever, name a name a fucking that's Jetty true. Lee or whoever. <laughs> unless you got one name. Right. <laughs> Flea. Oh, wait, no, that's Flea, the only one I can think of. <laughs> Sometimes they get credit, but yeah. really, most of the time, you're just in the background, and that was my favorite part, because like, I could do whatever I want. That, that no, is no a, harm, no foul. That's a pretty nice feeling. Uh, that coincides with that feeling of uh, less strings to mm-hmm. uh, fuck up on. <laughs> to, that uh, shit. That's pretty cool. Um, and I will say that... Uh, <clears throat> You know, bigger frets too for these stupid mitts I have, and like and like being a good bass player and a be- like being a bass player that there's like that is good bass along with everything else that is good about that band. Like I think that is one of the goals that I personally have when joining that that yeah. band, which uh, we have recordings happening for that too right now. So I know, it's coming I know. that way. It's exciting stuff. I'm sure shows will come around. You think it's going to be this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're so to, early in. So. I'd have to say soon, sooner Soon-ish. rather than later. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, the way that everybody's like, I know Zach and Chris have been wanting to get that going for a long time, mm-hmm. and uh, you know when Evan and I joined in, we you know are matching that too. Whenever we can make stuff happen, we're going to. I think. Of course. And then on the other side of things with Pet, um, you know that's been going on for like probably a year now, just because it got a little bit of held up in the middle. Uh, with you know Ted that went to California for a little right. bit uh, for some work related things and uh, so it held up the recording process a little bit we thought we'd maybe be able to get him back a little like during his trip but you know he had a lot of things going on for him out there so uh, that happened the way that did so Pat and Eric and I were recording while he was gone but before that you know getting that group of guys together because you know Pat playing drums and I was afraid yeah you know him and I have been playing for a long time now so we are pretty locked and in sync with a lot of the things that we musically bring to the table and Eric I've known for a long time too because he played drums and I was afraid too (laughs) what's wrong with Ted is my question why hasn't he played drums and I was afraid yet (laughs) but uh, Eric I've known for a long time and I've always been a big believer in what he can do musically because a lot of his bands have been I guess I would consider him pretty underrated like he's been he's flown under the radar in terms of music ability too so right um, but he's do he's singing in the in pet too and I think that he can be a great singer and uh, I'm excited to like play more of that jazzier style Mm -hmm. of instrumental um a little bit more technical, a little bit more exciting without the negative sense of the word, like comparing right. it to another band that I might have been in. Because right. I was afraid it's always going to be a band as long as we're all, you know, right. one right. to go, keep going on. It's a unique band because I think it's the only band I've ever interviewed all the members, I think, <laughs> except the drummer, like yeah, all Pat. at different times. Yeah. Yeah. Because which I, y'all are so <laughs> spread out and doing y'all's own shit. Yeah. And y'all just kind of come together every now and then and then play. Yeah. Darby's doing his thing out in Austin right now, which he was talking about when he was on here, too. Right. And he wanted to go experience some new things in yeah. life. And I'm, glad that he's getting to go out and do that kind of thing you got to um, man that's perspective yeah. to and live some in. some people say they want to do that and then end up not going out to do it too that's so true too. so he's he's making his strides and that's pretty cool for him uh yeah. but yeah like i was saying and then you know evan's got nursing school he's going mm-hmm. in right now too so he's pretty they're both pretty busy and you know i'm being p- busy with pit and everything like that and you know everybody's got to work too uh, most of the time yeah. <laughs> yeah and then so you know things are going on pretty well right now i was afraid we'll get back and do things whenever it, of course it becomes a thing that is available to have <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a big proponent that I want to like make more things with that band. Like rather than you know show playing a lot of the time right now, I think sure. it's time to like sit down and make some headway on new material. Mm, I was afraid, yes. as far as that's concerned, uh, it's just that would be the most difficult thing to pull off right now. Though, too. How do y'all write all in the same room or like bring riffs to a table and kind of flush it out? There's a lot of that. Yeah, there's a lot of that. With I was afraid. Um, over the years, a lot of like the guitar formation, like in Darby and I, have been going on, and then we'd bring everything to the table. And Evan is pretty good at, at laying stuff down pretty quick on right. it, and like picking up very quick what he wants to do on things. And Pat, of course, is one of my favorite drummers I've ever played with. And probably, you know, <laughs> him and Zach are like great to have in the arsenal of drum players for the band because they're both really good at what they right. do. And you know, and I've... drummers are so scarce. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm glad I've got two of the best of them to hang out with me. There you <laughs> um, go. Oh. Yeah, maybe they can teach me a thing or two. I've always wanted to pick up drums and oh, like play should, that. Man. Yeah, it's so then you, much fun. Yeah, out of all the instruments I played, that is definitely the one. Yeah, if I had to pick one, like which one of your bands would you want to go? It's yeah. like, man, I'd want a drum. Like it's just. Yeah, and like you doing vocals playing drums too. Like you are unlocking a whole new. <laughs> I've actually been of... able to step away from that for the time being. Yeah. Uh, John Comfort joined our band, and it turns out he can sing. Okay, so you've and got a couple like, more. <laughs> I pat him on the back. I was like, yeah. Take man. the reins. Because I just want to be a drummer for a little bit. I'm yeah. going to come back to it. We're writing a whole album right now. Yeah. And there's a couple of songs on there that 
have, I have vocal features on. So okay. It's like, so you're still getting to like shine when you want, yeah, like have like, the ability to get but, in there. And but the old stuff, I kind of just, I just want to drum yeah. for right now. Just I'm taking on a small vocal drumming yeah. hiatus because it actually sucks. I bet it does. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does because that would have to be in my eyes the hardest thing to do multitask and do band wise. It's, it's like not easy playing drums and singing. I think would be a lot harder than playing guitar and singing just because you got more than your hands and actually got your feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got uh, yeah. your hands too. Yeah, they call it full limb independence. I don't like that. And like uh <laughs> I, I, I cherry hard. pick my parts because like some stuff it's like, dude, if I'm in the middle of like this, whatever yeah. part the especially bridges, I technically won't sing on because those where shit gets real complicated. Right. And I'm just like, eh, you're I'll focusing try. more on your exactly, like, yeah. on the parts. So I'm not too proficient at it, but there's a few things I've been able to pull off while singing. And I was like, Oh shit. Yeah. So I look back at it and yeah. be like, Oh hell yeah. Me, but I've been doing it for oh God. Yeah. I mean, ever since I started, like I would, Typical, like a teenager, I would put headphones in or have a CD playing over the loudspeaker. And sing along with it. And sing along with it while mm-hmm. I was playing. So it was almost just kind of already there. Yeah, and then you getting to do it now where you're just focusing on drumming again rather than doing vocals on top of it. You get to, like, go back. Oh, I'm imagining yeah. in your in your I, head you're, adding like... adding all kinds of drum yeah. fills and stuff. To and ours. focusing yeah. on, like, what, you, what brought you to the show in the first mm-hmm. place, basically, and just saying, like, this is what I've been wanting to get back to focusing on. So I bet that has been pretty uh, relieving. Pretty not not, <laughs> yeah. not going to lie, dude. It's actually... Been, I've been enjoying... Doing it, uh, breath of fresh air, yeah. kind of almost like the songs are new again, and I, I could see that because <clears throat> there's a lot less cues I'm waiting for, mm-hmm. so there's a lot less like I can just kind of pay attention a little less and yeah. just kind of go. It's a different type of fun than what it you're is. used to playing yeah. from before because rather than the fun that is like making sure you can snag the drumming and singing parts at the same time you're playing drums alone now, just making sure that that's the best that it can exactly. be. So I bet that is pretty I recommend cool. drums to everyone too, man, because honestly, just the stress relieving yeah. <laughs> of beating the shit out of something. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, in my current living, I live in Conway right now. Mm. Uh, wouldn't work out for me. Uh, <laughs> the only time apartment. I was afraid has that. No, it's a house. It's but a house. the only time I was afraid has ever practiced there like 12 minutes in. Cops, oh, yeah, man, fuck that, dude. Yep. We there got the, needs they, to be laws for this. They like, clamped the rock that day. That's ridiculous. I, I would blame Conway PD for why a lot of I was afraid material has not seen the light of day <laughs> <laughs> because of the fact that they shut us down real quick. <laughs> we had to like go to Little Rock to practice whenever it was like the more prominent than it is right now. You know when everybody was still together, right? But um. Yeah, which, you know, we have been lucky enough, Pitt being, uh, to find a practice space in Little Rock that we can be pretty consistent when everybody has the ability to be. Y'all too, doing so. like an actual space or y'all doing that storage facility thing? The one off of like Roosevelt out yeah. there? That is, uh, it's a funny story about that. Uh-huh. That's not a thing anymore. It, oh, really? It was supposed to literally not be a thing because it's supposed to get like Torn plow, down yeah, plowed down, whatever words we want to use there. And uh, Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. <laughs> and then, uh, so we like got all our stuff out of it and the guy was like, yep. It's coming down, and, and, and then like it's still there though. So it's full of shit. <laughs> it is still yeah, there, okay. and uh, there probably is still practicing going on in there. I'd think that maybe somebody just rubbed him the wrong way along the lines there, I and like think he was just having a bad month or something, and just kind something of, like that. Possibly like had another band that like he knew he would appreciate having in there more. Something like I wouldn't want to speculate on his behalf. I didn't know that guy very well, but long story short, basically being that like that does not exist for us anymore. Uh, well, okay, <laughs> but we did um, get involved with. Do you know Zach Hunter? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Well, he's like got a space over in like Little Rock now that we're we're going to, and he's actually recording the pit stuff right now too. So, so um, we've been working with him a lot, which you know, big props to him because he's like been, he's doing a lot for us in terms of the recording stuff, and uh, that's like it's been coming along how it's been coming along at a slower pace because of like the gaps that have been coming in the middle of, of most things. But well, uh, you know. when it when it comes together, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to get it out there and okay, get it showed. Yeah. Have y'all played shows yet? We've played, um, well, Pet has played like four or five times now. Four I think or five. the first one we played was like a Whitewater show. Mm-hmm. Um, it had. I, we're gonna find out real quick that my memory is shit here oh, because same. yeah <laughs> I've uh, got Alzheimer's for sure <laughs> yeah I can't wait for my later years they're gonna rule <laughs> well uh, um, who, I can't even remember who played that show that's terrible of me um, and then well we played Evans uh, not so fast oh, not uh, so fast. we, we played right. that on the same day that like Ted had like three bands play that night because uh, we played then and then Head Cold and then his band Peach Blush played so that that was like our second show and that was like the best one so far like in my mind I'm pretty positive just in terms like how well everything came together Mm. we've had a couple shows since then that like 
going back to what we were talking about earlier, just that kind of like, well, I could have done a little differently, a little better from there. Yeah, and too, whenever when something's new, too, it's like even a, like a band like the one I've drum in has been around for 12 years. Yeah. It, when it's new, it's new, man. The chemistry helps, but... Yeah, I was about to say, My Hands to War was like a band back when I didn't even know what music, yeah. <laughs> like how to play music, basically. Yeah, we're old. <laughs> and, and that's not even what I mean by that. I mean it more so in the fact that like, seeing you guys play in like y'all's era of bands like the science of sleep kind of oh, days yeah. and like all that kind of back when i was like a j- sophomore junior in high school right that was when i really picked up like a lot of my music playing um because i just had some friends that were like hey we're fucking around with some instruments in here get o- get over here <laughs> idiot yeah. <laughs> so i picked Hell one yeah. up oh, yeah. <laughs> i was like cool <laughs> and that worked out pretty well i guess for <laughs> For where I'm sitting today, in terms of like what I like to do, but um, I, and I actually started playing bass. That was the first thing I ever picked up was really? a bass. Yeah, a Vester. A Vester. You ever seen a Vester bass? I'm not. Yeah, I don't think many people have. Yeah, I've never <laughs> that's, even heard of it. That's the response I get a lot of the time I ask that question. <laughs> um, I actually paid twenty dollars yeah. <laughs> to a buddy who uh, wh- who was looking for a money spot because he wanted something of the the green variety. Oh, <laughs> and he wanted the film chocolate some, mints, chocolate yeah. mints, <laughs> some Tic Tacs, <laughs> and he wanted to go get some of that. So it may even exchange on our behalf, and uh, it all set off from there. Learned wood oh, <laughs> by Allison yeah. Chains. Yeah, <laughs> first ever tablature I ever picked up, and then you know just kind of went from there. Never like any lessons or anything like that. No, I didn't do lessons either. Yeah. I got tab books, and the internet didn't exist yet. But I got like tab books and friends. You know, yeah. <laughs> no, this is how you do it, and it's all wrong. YouTube is a huge resource for back in the day whenever you're learning how to do things like that. I wish that existed. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah I imagine like for me, when I was going through it, like learning, like looking at people play, yep. like the kind of like redoing from what you see, I guess. Like, yeah. Try, trying to commit to memory, like three, five, eight, yeah. uh, eagle claw hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you ever put the numbers on a piece of paper? You know, I did <laughs> put it along the top yeah, of the of guitar. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the, uh, lap, like you turn the guitar oh, twisted towards you so you can stare at <laughs> it. Even though there's markers on top, it's like, if I see it, better. I need to remember what numbers are on what yeah. dots, what yeah. numbers have the dots on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then I, I don't want to learn the key, the, you know, notes, keys, nothing like I, that. But but twenty years later, and you can just close your eyes and just play most of the stuff you write. You know, uh huh. I like that. <laughs> That's a thing that I can maybe well, do. playing guitar and singing in a band. Yeah, is definitely different. And because you don't get the chance to look down if yeah. you're singing, and and you that's, can kind of peer, but you don't really get. And that's probably more so why I'm like trying to focus more so on the harmony realm. Besides the fact that I think just think that that is like an important thing to include if you have the ability to. Um, but like keeping it to harmonies and like just certain parts yep. that like just can be boosted rather than like me adding something that's not there. Um, that like I think should be there or anything right. like that. Like doing the harmony add ons is just a way of like being able to still play how I want to play and not have to focus on the fact that, you know, I'm going to uh-huh. be looking up here. I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing down here. Yep. <laughs> and that would be a pretty like, pretty good problem for me i feel like if i was like a front man like if i was to ever be like a singer like a front singer of uh-huh. a band and playing guitar i don't know how those dorks do it uh well <laughs> i do it now and it's terrifying oh is it i'm petrified every time <laughs> i imagine if, it is. if you see me and i look like i've got my shit together i am dying on the inside <laughs> well you know what we're all propping you yeah, dude, <laughs> underneath it all it's fucking hard man. i imagine it is yeah. i really didn't ex- Honestly, in the in the room, like what I say in the room, like practicing, yeah. it's just you and your friends. You're more a little more free, blah, blah, blah. But I've never understood because I've always been back behind the singer, you mm-hmm. know, always. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, it really a drummer, if you're not showboating, you can kind of just walk away from a show and almost no one will notice. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of nice. But when you <laughs> take the leap and you go to the front, it is very man different, profile. man. <laughs> it's very different. Yeah. And that's all I like, told Eric, too, when we were like starting pet up. I was like, I think that you would be like a great frontman singer. I've seen you do it before. Like, I know you have that ability mm-hmm. within you to pull it off in terms of like knowing what you're playing and not having to focus as much as I have to focus on it just because I guess different, you know, strokes for different folks. Right. Uh, I just just have to focus quite a bit on what I'm doing to like make it successful. <laughs> I, I do again, like yeah. I pick when I want the parts to be a little more complicated. The stuff we do is like basic shit. Yeah. You know, that's the only way I'd be able to pull it off. And then I can only toss in a lick when I'm not 
yeah singing like if i tried i would just screw the whole thing up i'm just like i'm not that talented at this (laughs) i'm making i'm guessing my way through it it's just funny because you know you got that you're like focusing major on what you're doing and like hitting it right and everything and then your front man's in the back making an omelet yeah (laughs) yeah he's just like yeah doing everything (laughs) that was actually very pre-planned because we always try to do something silly we're always we're known for being the wild it ones. It made for a hell of a video. Like, yeah, hell, you're yeah. fucking telling me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. seen it's got some major play. Uh, I actually had bit. an idea to run by you. It's uh, <laughs> like a restaurant <laughs> band is playing the whole time they're open. We've gotten TV show. <laughs> yeah. We've gotten yeah restaurants. We've got uh, we should do that for every show. Yeah. Put a hot plate in our rig because it's the breakfast variety. So it's just normal. Uh, Call it screaming scones, dude. <laughs> sell some scones it's been it's been a weird week i just you know you don't you're not ready for that shit that's yeah. for sure and you know the whole thing was like ah, let's be funny because normally todd likes to just hang off shit or walk on people he's but been energetic and in all of the yes, instances i've seen you guys but yeah. but will made us sign a contract that we wouldn't do any of that stuff oh like he actually he wrote it on his fridge and made us sign it <laughs> or we loophole. couldn't play <laughs> and i was like well i mean we have to we want to play. It's true to you guys. To like, yeah. Damn, dude, the power is going crazy. Oh, man. Well, it's neighbor, still working. I think your neighbor's coming for us because they pulled up to his house <laughs> instead. <laughs> he's like, I'll get those nah, guys. Nah, he's a little kid, man. He's, he's like, I never asked me to be a guest on the show. <laughs> so the original idea was just a hot dog because it's yeah. easy. Pop that okay. bitch in the microwave and just. Uh, was that a pivot? Was that a uh, at the time pivot? For yeah. An omelet instead? Well, it, no, it actually happened like a week before, okay. I think. And then. You know who knows, man. You never know, and the internet's so fucking strange. You don't know what's going to catch on fire. It, it's it's a smart move because you have to practice your omelet game before you just come out here at a show. <laughs> we got. Like, I saw protein. somebody ate it after in you a circle pit, not after in the oh, circle that, pit. That's right. That's yeah, right. After Cassidy. making it, I guess is what I meant. Like yes. after it got made, oh, right, it, got, right. it got delivered. <laughs> it got delivered. Like she ran up on stage, yeah. took it out of Todd's hands, and I was like, "Whoa!" You can't make a bad omelet at that point in time. And, <laughs> Dude, you got to make a good omelet. And then I, I, I honestly like we. It was during the so the second to last and the last song is when all that kind of happened. It was like yeah. middle of the second to last song and the beginning of the last song okay. was when that whole it was shift took up to place. The crescendo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so once it was over, it's like you have a good laugh. You blah blah blah. Well, then you don't expect that to happen. A Yelp so review you, of your. So we wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on our way to Memphis. Yeah. And we're going early because we have friends there. We're going to go eat food. We're going to go down Bill Street, you know, make a whole Memphis day. Make it fun. <laughs> and then before we even get there, it's just, we were like, oh, shit. Yeah. Something big. <laughs> you saw that it was getting the numbers up. <laughs> what was that like? Two it th- okay, so it was at like 2,000. I think our biggest video is like 5,000. And we usually get around 800. So I was yeah. like, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's easily shareable. I figured our friends thought it was hilarious. Well, it's fun. I mean, it's like it's a funny. fun thing. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, that actually makes sense. I could see that. And even for those like people out there who wouldn't think it was like funny, but it, which it was, but it was like one of those things that was like, it's fun any way you look at it right. too. It's like just an enjoyable thing to out see. Out of like the 10,000 comments now, I've found like, Eight, nine, ten shitty ones. Yeah, and honestly, I, the scale is so off of just who are those good. guys? Yeah, well, they're they're assholes. It's the Crash Cast Army. Nah, they're just they're <laughs> just kidding. fucking fuck bitter people. Yeah, Don't and like, I would just scroll through. I, honestly, I would laugh at them because I'm just like, okay, well, I mean, what, it's just for fun. So those people probably had a show that next weekend, probably. had their omelet game building, <laughs> and we're definitely going to be making omelets. Oh, yeah, that's how many. Th- th- most of the comments are that. Yeah, <laughs> it is that. Like, so are we doing this? What are we gonna do? One guy was like, "I'm gonna cook a whole four their band. course meal." <laughs> yes, it is all that. And then guys were playing like, "We gotta get a hot plate," or "Man, we should put a microwave in the rig." Blah blah blah, <laughs> like all this stuff. And it's like it's funny what it sparked. But yeah. we're on the way to Memphis, and we get to like Brinkley, and he's like, "Yo, it's at two thousand. Then we get a little bit further. He's like. Yo, it's at 7,000. And I was like, broke your record. Oh, broke my your, God. Oh, yeah. not only did it break our. By the time we got to Memphis, which is what, like an hour from Brinkley, it was at yeah. 30 something thousand. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I hadn't seen what shit. it's sitting at now. What's it sitting not at? Not over 900. Thousand, <laughs> that's a good. <laughs> oh, it'll hit a million before probably Wednesday. That is awesome. I've never been a part of anything that got a million yeah. anything's so Some, like viral capacity. I'm just like, that. yeah, uh, or anything, yeah. just a million anything, <laughs> viral or not, just a million of any one thing. You'll be walking in a shopping mall like minus away at some point in time. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, 
You're the helmet guys. <laughs> uh, our singer will for sure. Yeah. And he, everybody kept calling him Zach Galifianakis, which oh, he man. hates, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he see that coming? <laughs> of course. Well, okay. he gets it all the time, so it's pretty okay. standard practice for him. There are worse people to be oh, of course. Uh, referred to as. I, I would say definitely. Yeah. I got referred to as Bobby Hill in my <coughs> high school uh, tenure. <laughs> maybe, no. maybe not want to watch the show. I did have like buzzed hair back okay. then, so, or like shorter hair anyway. Made me miss out on one of the funnier <laughs> animated shows I've ever seen. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I love me some King of the Hill, man. I, we great. were just watching it the other day, as a matter of fact. I think it's on Hulu or some shit or Netflix. But it just means I get to enjoy it uh, from like now, yeah. where I guess I understand more about it as I'm watching it too. And um, I would say that's a testament to the show's quality because yeah. it still holds up. It's yeah. still funny. I yeah. still laugh at it. Thanks, Hulu, for putting yeah. that up. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it wasn't Hulu. anywhere for a minute. Right, that's right. Yeah, I don't think it was. How long have you been playing instruments, man? So, like, probably since, like, that 10th grade area. Like, age-wise, I don't know how old are people in 10th grade. <laughs> 15 S- 15 or 16, 16. yeah I, I think 16 is probably around that area how old are you now i'm 27 so That's a while, so yeah. like yeah 11 years 11 years um because i remember i like got a guitar for the first time like an actual i transitioned from bass to guitar like maybe a I don't know, year after i started or something yeah, like yeah. that it's one of those things where like that the shitty band i was in at the time was just like hey um <laughs> you should do guitar instead because we just don't know how to ask people to play <laughs> instruments and we're just gonna let you do it and i just picked one up and ever since then that's just kind of been the instrument of choice like with now going back to like try some bass stuff out too so i'm getting to cover both the bases now love it which is I- fun stuff um but yeah back then which i've, I've grown up like music wise growing up uh, a lot of what I listened to was like the radio rock realm of things. Sure. I didn't Me really too. To when it. I was in high school, like yeah. I didn't know until my buddy drew like op- like pried my brain open and poured <laughs> underground music yeah. in my brain. And now I now it's the opposite. Now I couldn't tell you what the fuck is new on the radio. I couldn't either. Uh, well, I mean, I listen to like the same shit all the time. Is probably my same. main problem on that. Yeah. I like I listen to nineties stuff a lot. <laughs> I was like a you know grunge, aggro, corn, Nirvana. Yeah. That stuff still gets rotated kind of for me too. Yeah, yeah. like it, or my dad's classic rock. Like I love Incubus. Like Incubus. You is see, probably, they're coming. I am gonna. Holy I'm shit! Gonna be there. I just remember that earlier. I need to get tickets. The, I don't know how is it there. Amp. It's Incubus and Rogers. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> you got to come original to that show, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Yeah. No, That's gonna be can. a wild show. I'm I can't excited believe for that. They, Got him here. Uh, yeah, I, I've never seen Incubus, and uh, I haven't either, man. Now would probably be one of the last times. I was probably going to use a more negative word than that. <laughs> probably yeah. saying like one of like the times that like seeing them would probably be the least exciting, just yes. because of like I don't know about you, their most recent stuff. I'm like not uh, like not, too crazy yeah, about. Like crazy I don't even it. know most of it. Like I've listened to it kind of in passing. I was like, eh, all right, but like Morning View, they got to play like songs from that too, though. I imagine. that would be where I would think most of their songs would like lie that make would yourself that in Morning yeah. View and stuff like that. I, I like, did hear a new one and they played it live on something and I was like, oh shit, Incubus, I haven't heard of, I haven't even thought about Incubus in years. And how long did that excitement last? <laughs> Not very long. I was like, oh, okay. That is one of my favorite guitar players ever though. Oh, Mike Einzinger, whatever his name yeah. is. I, I say that, but I don't even know his last name, but uh, it's pronounced something that I can't say right now because yeah. I don't know it. But uh, <laughs> the fact that it's one of those things where it's like once you write like seven, eight albums worth of like mm-hmm. so different and such like good in its own way stuff. Um, even if I'm not the biggest fan of like some of their newer stuff, you can still, you know, recognize that it's pretty pow- It's like pretty technically sound and like yes. everything about it. It's just like hard work and dedication put into it and everything. Th- just like for usual. sure. But like, that's, that's the same thing with most of those bands, but it doesn't mean I like it or right. I'm going to listen to it. That's true. It's like Nickelback. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck about Nickelback, <laughs> you but know, I can't discredit them for being who they true. are. Like they're uh, clearly good musicians and clearly saw something. I feel bad because he got lighters thrown at him at that uh, show in like well, that's Brazil just or something like that. Shitty. That is true. <laughs> like nobody deserves that. Not even no, Nickelback. Not even Nickelback. <laughs> just don't be shitty. Yeah, I'm not gonna even gonna front though. There are Nickelback singles from back in the day that I would listen to. <laughs> Me too. I mean, yeah. when it comes on, and here's the deal. Everybody making fun of it is it got that sing shit in their head. You got you fucking right. They are yeah. that song comes on, you know it. Put them at karaoke on a, uh-huh. <laughs> on a Santo Coyote on a That's Thursday right. night. Yeah, Put some Nickelback dude. on. They will be singing. Okay, dude. I tell you, I, everyone, at, you know, if, oh, well, your dream concert, and I'm like, dude, honestly, as far as like a monetary gain, it's got to be a Nickelback concert. They, they have the some... most loyal fans ever. Uh, probably, I imagine clearly, so. they're into whatever. <laughs> Anything Nickelback. Does, so I'm, we will well, I'm telling you, yeah. if even my band, 
crazy weird heavy yeah. gets up there, they're gonna be like, "Wow, that was actually pretty fucking decent." They play with and, Nickelback, and you're gonna sell a truckload of merch. Yeah. and you're gonna go home happy. That would be cool. I'm, I have to imagine. <laughs> I don't know how them as people would be. How do you think Nickelback is? I cool. bet there's at least two assholes, but I bet the majority of them are probably think Chad. Cool. What, Chad, you think Chad's an asshole? I, I've actually heard the opposite, so I don't know. That's cool. I don't know, man. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he could. Maybe be. one day we'll see for ourselves. Aren't they Canadian? Oh, that is a big factor yeah. to play. <laughs> it's a huge factor. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just need to brush up on my Nickelback lore. <laughs> <laughs> need to pull their wiki page up there and do go. some reading, some light reading before bed tonight. <laughs> Hmm. I think I shall look up this Nickelback. I'll put down the the Moby Dick. <laughs> Pick up the Nickelback wiki page. <laughs> He's just got like a fucking monocle on his cell phone. Hmm. Gotta yeah. have it. <laughs> monocle all the time. Oh my goodness, dude. So when you're writing uh, with this new band, I kind of want to. I kind of. I don't want to ask too much about it because I know y'all are kind of keeping everything pretty under wrap. Well, I like it's, it. It's more so rather than keeping it under wrap. It's like, and I don't, and I'm not saying anything bad about the people who do this because like people are excited and they deserve to talk about what they're putting all their hard work and effort into. Oh, yeah. But I'm just one of the kind of people, and I guess we just we talked about this like as us four as well too in the band. I'm just being like, I don't want like too big of like a face, like I don't want to make a Facebook and and then find out oh we're actually not going to be done recording for two or three months because we just couldn't put it together. I want to have like Wait all of that. Ready. I want to have all of that out yeah. at the same time, rather than just like a thing that we did because we were bored. I kind of, I kind of like it though, man, because it's like, uh, it's like the old thing. Like, you, there's not a lot to be excited about in music because everything's such on Front Street now. Yeah. It is kind of nice to have a band that they show y'all show us little glimpses, which mm-hmm. I, I'm like, ooh, what's this tasty little treat? And it's people I know, and so it's like, oh, okay, yeah. So new band, people I know, I know they're talented, so I know the music's good. I don't even got to question that. I just want to know what it's like, and then you'll hear like little clips, but you don't get enough. I feel that for people that I know like a lot about in bands, like when I know the people that are involved and everything like that, and they have a project coming together. Yeah, there's an excitement there because you just want to see what they're able to produce. Yeah. Just like hold recently, like knowing all of them and like having seen them played live, yeah, and just seeing how good they are. I've seen them a couple times now, dude. Yeah, kick ass. And then their uh, release they just had the other day was uh-huh. awesome. The vocals and just the music, everything on it was awesome. It came together really good for them. I'm excited for them. Me too, man. Um, you know, I'm excited for a lot of bands right now. Yep, that's where I'm at too, man. Like I'd rather support you guys and like my friends over almost anything at this point. And it and it's like one of those things that like you like me, which I wish I could put more time than I have into like having going to shows and everything like that. But like the music scene, I guess for lack of better mm-hmm. words, um, and just like doing music, it's just kind of like the thing, like that's the the thing that it, all the focus, like when you're not doing things you have to do to survive, like work or whatever, it's like, uh, that's yeah. where all the focus is going to. And that's the hard part, man. You got to work fucking 50 hours a week just to make ends meet and yeah. shit now. And it's kind of annoying really, but, but you're seeing like people who are like really making some good strides right now too. Cause like whole, like I was saying, uh, pedal weather's another really good band coming up. You and Jeremy and those guys dude, love it. Um, Micah and, and, uh, Keely in there too. And like bird bones, their band yep. too. I like, haven't seen bird bones yet, but I've sick. seen clips. They Sounds awesome. awesome. Yes. And then you've got like your gopher gold and like your uh, past comfort guys that are going out On there and, and right like, doing that right now. Yeah. So, you know, big props to everybody who's putting a lot of effort into what they're doing. It's nowadays. Crazy, man. Yeah. It's cool to see. It's cool to see like not only everyone trying again but it's also cool to see to see people like yeah. trying to put a big old fucking stamp on the state again yeah and like just doing the best and, and I, I also wanted to mention terminal nation because i think oh, they, yeah. i think they have big things coming their way uh, i think so too yeah and they'll deserve it so that'll yeah. be cool but like a lot of bands right now are just like you know making things a little different than I guess like in my personal experience, which is not a lot of like the music scene. A lot I guess yeah. since I came into it doing, uh, you know, I was afraid back in its very you know beginning origins was like the only band that I had like made myself to come out and play like shows with. So right. like for the longest time that was the only thing that I'd ever. Well, I mean like there were a couple bands that I like joined in with that like were already playing shows back in the day that like mm. I joined in and like filled in and never really wrote anything and like right. made it my own or like our Almost own. Like a gun for hire yeah exactly yeah. and like now that and i was afraid was like for a long time the big thing doing that and it still is when it comes back but it's like one of those things that in the meantime like all the focus is going to like these other things that are happening and everything and it's yeah and i'm excited to uh put forth our contribution into this new uh landscape i guess that everybody yeah. is uh setting up and like everybody's playing real well together and everything everybody's enjoying you know, each other's bands it's good going from what i could see i mean I'm, as far as i can tell i think there's a few people that have issues but I mean, yeah, 
got to work on it, got to work it out, find yeah. your own lane or do whatever and I'm so just like, go with it. I'm so nonchalant, passive that I wouldn't even see who has issues with each other. I'm just, just like, hey, I, I try not to, you know, I try to just do this. And then right now life is so insane with all this stuff. Like I, ch- I could probably check my Facebook right now and it'd just be like, oh, you have 500 more notifications. <laughs> no, it's, on it's, yeah. it's hard. It's hard to like sift through it all. So I'm like missing stuff. And yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's weird. Plus full time. I work 45 hours a week. We're at. And uh, just like right over here at this Florence That's place. Cool to have a spot like nearby that you can... Well, until the end of the month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ripped it from yourself. Yeah. I took it yeah. away from myself, but I'd rather live way the hell out there in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, and then that, you know, so I'm like remodeling a house. Yeah. My band did this hilarious thing. It blew up. I will say that uh, now would probably be the most opportune time to like release music for you guys too. Because uh, of February like, 24th, my it's friend. Coming, yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's already preloaded. It's Good already planning. in the chamber. <laughs> There's uh, a music video that's a Accompanying it, awesome. it's already shot, edited. It's sitting. It's sitting. Well, hell yeah! Hopefully that all the traffic from that video will tra- will carry over. Well, it's into people being excited. Like, it was already in the works. Yeah, like the song was already saved before that, and, and the video was already old. planned to be shot that weekend. Yeah. So like that weekend, we did the Friday show. Wake up, we're like meme lords. Yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we go to sleep. We play a show. We drive all the way home. We wake up. Then we go shoot a music. It was a very taxing yeah. weekend. I mean, that would be a lot of people's like intention. Like after you stumble into something like that, that has like the numbers that that is like having nowadays, like you use that to your advantage because you're like, Hey, while all of you are here, it's like what the moment is. Yeah. You know? and, and it's not like uh, soliciting or anything like that. It's not like you putting anything out that you're just like, Hey, no, like I'm making this happen right no, now, no. but it's like, they're all here anyway. And just like, Hey, well, if you like this, then well, when something's, ca- when something's <laughs> catches got fire, man, you have to just go. Yeah. Even if it is just yeah. fucking omelet, like who, who cares what it was? Just mm-hmm. ride the train. Like we Monday, that Monday we picked up management. Yeah. So then we have managers. We have a whole like, staff of like talking seven about people behind yeah. us. We're making big strides there. There's a whole like other set of group chats that are just that with their whole crew. Yeah. And that's like a daily thing because we're trying to like make the right move. You know, we want to use it and do the right thing. And we have probably like six out of state shows that are being worked on right now. Not a tour. Oh, so it's not going to be like a run. We'll tour at the end of the year. So our idea was to be weekend warriors and build an audience. Let the record sit for a minute whenever you put that out. Yeah, exactly. And then just hit it. Boom. Do like a week or two. Yeah. And then, you know, keep doing that until the chain rolls and try to get a tour, you know, yeah. support on another tour or something like that. Well, doing all that within the year of like a viral video having been released is, is good timing. <laughs> that's, that's how well, you would want things to crazier, unfold. Because yeah. at the end of last year, it was kind of make or break for myself. And I basically was like, guys, if we're, if all we're ever going to do is this, we've already done it. Mm-hmm. You know, like every yeah. show we played last year was like 200 plus. Right. We did it. Yeah. Let's pack it up. We're done. You know? And it's like it's one of those fun, things. You can pull it out whenever in the future, whenever exactly. it's like a fun thing. It, like, it can continue being fun, but I do see your viewpoint there. Ex- of like, exactly. Well, it's like, it's like, you know, not getting any younger. If all we're going to be is home, man, let's just do other shit. Like, let's play other bands. Mm-hmm. We don't have to hurt ourselves anymore. But then we all, it was like a five hour long conversation. And credit to my guys, man, they were all like, no, let's fucking make a push. Like, let's do it for real. And I was like, all right, I'm in. And dude, I swear to God, at the, at the end of 2019, into 2020 it has just been non-stop and yeah. we were already planning most of this before that hilarious that, silly just, accident that is just the cherry that exploded right. on top of the cake <laughs> well, I think because you know it's not lost on us that it's ridiculous yeah. right it's not lost on us we are all we make jokes at each other and then there for a second we were almost kind of mad like we did crazy shit every show for and 12 years that- and this is the thing and our lead singer's dad, I have to say, this is like the most w- wisdomatic shit. That's why we have old people and they tell us things. Uh, this is their purpose. <laughs> he said, He said, it's more than just eggs and cheese. It's four friends who always push boundaries. This is just the boundary that I happened to catch. His, yeah. You know, and I, he was, I could see that he was basically saying like, it was bound to happen. Cause y'all are always doing something new. It's like with the, the world having its TikToks and it's exactly. you know, former vines or whatever, like, and everything like that. It, this is the time. Are you where, TikToking? Absolutely not. Uh, no, I'm too old. I'm past. <laughs> this is the first app where I'm like, I don't get it. You know, it's one of those things that like people like it and people can like what they like, but yeah, I don't know. Some of the, I've seen more like, Oh my God on there yeah, than I've reckless. seen than I've it's had the laughs. wild west out there on TikTok, man. <laughs> Just keep it on. My phone. 
<laughs> Steer clear. <laughs> I, I made the mistake of watching a compilation the other day on YouTube, and yeah. I was like, oh, man, TikTok is a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> I, I was leaving work the other night, and I saw some, some like, I guess it had to have been kids. Yes. They were, like, driving by in, like, some, like, <laughs> SUV. They had their, they were hanging out the sunroof. They had the cam, like, camera phone in their hand. I was like, it has to be damn TikTok. Oh, you know it. <laughs> TikTok's it has gonna, to be. <laughs> TikTok's gonna ruin us. We're I got TikTok. About- Talked in a Best Buy. Oh, hell. <laughs> what, but an employee? No, no. two other kids walking around. Uh-oh. They were just like, uh, so it was like, I guess, do a backflip in front of strangers and see how they react. In a Best Buy, you're going to land a, on the iPods. <laughs> actually, he was really fucking talented at backflips. Okay. I'm sitting there looking at the cheap Blu-ray bin, like three ninety nine Blu-rays, yeah. man. Maybe I'll get Dodgeball. Maybe I'll get, you know. <laughs> you get to dodge a backflip <laughs> yeah. immediately. Well, the kid after. comes running by and does a backflip. And I think they wanted me to like freak out or something, but I just did the surfer and I went, hell yeah, dude. When you were talking about that, I was just thinking like my new goal is to be the old cranky man in a TikTok. <laughs> That's just like the one in the background shaking his head like, no, no, <laughs> you could, you were basically that guy. Yeah. You gave like a positive, like, yeah. like the surfs up kids. Yeah. Go be <laughs> Keep kids, TikTok-ing. man. I remember young. <laughs> But, you know, I, I, it ain't going to be anything that I'm creating an account on. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, 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 uh, I don't even like the shit I have. But, you know, <laughs> I barely like, post on it. Yeah, that, I feel that too. I've used Facebook more in the last week than I did probably the last five years. Yeah, I mostly use all that kind of stuff to keep up with everybody I know too. Just like see what everybody's like getting into. That's it. I use yeah. it for like a reference of like... Uh, Hopefully shows sometimes do shows fucking happen and I'm like what in the fuck yeah I didn't even know about this that can sneak up on you sometimes I was or, like or it, the stupid algorithms just don't show <laughs> don't it to show you. the post yeah I was like do like two days ago and then one hour ago one that's it that. yeah it can be a uh, a problem or my, my least favorites when the show already happened and then you see <laughs> about it and you're like wait this happened this I can't is wait a thing to, oh <laughs> and I feel like I sort of have my finger on the pulse but. You can't know what's going on at every venue at any get at all, unless that's what you're checking. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me go to Rev Room's page. Let me go to Vino's page. Right. And and like when like you said, you work forty five hours a week. It's hard to keep it like is. your focus on that as well too. When Plus, I'm in three bands. Yeah, so and like there like, can be bad weeks too, where you're just like, I did not see anything that was posted about happening this week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I understand how that can be a, a thing that happens to people. It's, you know, eh, and it's, I always tell my friends, like, when I turn 40, I'm deleting it. I'm just throwing my phone in the fucking water. M- moving to some mountain? No, I'll, I'll stay where I'm at so long as it's not, like, blow up like yeah. here. I'm going like to go a, wrestle elk in Montana. <laughs> Hell yeah, On dude. a mountain in some river somewhere. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Elk is delicious. <laughs> I'm just going to wrestle them. I don't want to like, def- I wanna, like defeat I wanna, them. I want a bear meat pizza as well. Uh-oh. I'd what really like bear, to tr- Oh, but like actual bear like meat. bear meat. I was thinking like B-A-R-E. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. Uh, so yeah, man. I just want to be truly revolutionary. <laughs> pizza toppings, man. Yeah. <laughs> talking bear meat, man. That's the most hard, that's what's hard to acquire pizza yeah. <laughs> in the world, I imagine. I would have bet. I don't know. Unless pizza it's like a cold. gold pizza. <laughs> just eat pizza with gold on. It. Now, you, you can do gold uh what's that shit with the paper gold leaf oh you just put it on there and pull it off and it's edible i need to sit my ass down at home one night and have a fancy night or, and eat me a gold leaf pizza <laughs> or gold schlager you can just do that i guess so there are many avenues here just, just take a bowl and dip dip your pizza crust yeah. in the gold schlager that sounds more like a real depressive evening <laughs> yeah it went from uh, me living the good life yeah. to the bad life real quick <laughs> Just watching. I was feeling real good, and then the tears started. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! So, what do you do for fun, dude? Well, I love movies. Hell yeah! I, I actually Same. had an intention of coming in here and talking to you about that. There usually is a lot more movie posters up, but like I said, I just took my sister to see Parasite last night uh, at Breckenridge because it's playing again. Seen it yet, but I hear. I mean, it won the fucking. Here's the thing, though: is the la- like three or four of the last six or seven podcasts have started off with Oscar chat <laughs> in yeah. terms of being like, man, the Oscars, like no go. Like, I'm and not, I, I would have been in that it. same camp. I'm not with it, I, and I agree that a lot of the time, like Adam Sandler, yes, should have been there. And uh, like Uncut well, Gems should have had representation. Well, they have too. the ten slots, and they don't always use ten slots. But it's like it's at like least just year. just give the recognition. Yeah. That's all they're asking. Yeah, but it's like this whole thing. Like if people don't know how the Oscars work, you have to campaign. 
You have to spend money. Some companies spend to the tune of millions of dollars re-campaigning just so yeah. their guy can be in the front. And A24, who is yes. like the home of like your lighthouse and yep. uh, I think Uncut Gems. Is, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, that I know was Safety their like, Brothers. second biggest film, yeah. It, well, apparently they like don't – don't really go into that world of things very much. They don't really campaign their movies for Oscars, and that is like a big reason as to why they don't get. It makes like me that respect nomination. him even more, to be honest. That's and true. That's why he didn't. I, I understood it, but at the same time, it's like you have ten, but because they didn't campaign for you and suck on your ass, then <laughs> yeah. you just aren't going to do it because <laughs> we'll ooh. show you. Yeah, we'll show you. <laughs> but did you see the speech that the director? Gave I, I watched. Saying? I watched the show. I watched the Oscars uh, just because I'd I'd made it a point to myself. That's what I'd spent a, a good amount of free time on here recently was uh, <laughs> watching all of the Best Picture nominations uh, before the show. Just because oh, okay. I wanted like a frame of reference for all of them. I did miss two. I didn't see Ford versus Ferrari or Jojo Rabbit. I wanted to I see seen those either. I, I bet those are good. But um, I don't know anything about Jojo Rabbit, but the Ford Ferrari one looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, I bet it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I had seen all the other ones, and Parasite for sure was the one that I was like, really? this should win. I said, this should. It has every like, you know, reason why it should. All the things you want in Oscar it's, it's film. It's so crazy. It's good, and like, um, it did win. They did it. it so did. I mean, yeah. like, and whatever the intention behind it. I know people say that some like they could have had poor intentions behind it, just for like viewership or something like that. But like that movie deserved. It was great. <laughs> I don't think viewership matters. Yeah. If that was the case, then uh, the end game should have took all of it because it made the most money. <laughs> That's so it had the too. most viewers by like default. One. Yeah. <laughs> that visual effects or whatever. Yeah. I thought it could win that too. I mean, it, it, it has a lot of work put into those movies too. I mean, they look flawless to me. Yeah. And uh, that and 1917, I thought were going to be like the toss up there. Any, dude, I, ever since this whole thing, I haven't been in the a lot of work to do. I heard yeah. the new Sonic's the shit. Yeah. I've seen like Twitter's going crazy over yeah. it when I looked at it. Uh, Darby, I saw, was posting about how like he went and saw it and he like, loved it a lot has uh, an opening it had it got a record like a, it, it has an opening for a video game movie highest oh, opening well you know that's always been a, a no man's land <laughs> it's like good video game movies um i can't think of one off the top of my head can you i mean the comic book ones don't count because they were comic books yeah. first so those don't count the mario brothers was I never uh, saw uh, that. Fucking oh! I, I got it. My hat ass down I, for a good night with my gold slick pizza. I, there you go. <laughs> my Mario Brothers. Yeah, that's VHS. a real depression right there. You dig it deep. <laughs> good deal. It's uh, it's it's trash. I used to love it as a kid because yeah. I was a kid. Or, or I say kid. Fuck. I was like, who knows? Probably twelve. Mm -hmm. But it was campy, and that in the nineties, like grown ass dudes. <laughs> That like, was, I like, mean, that was the '90s. I guess Mario and Luigi are grown ass dudes. I like, guess in theory, <laughs> but, but like the way, but nothing, nothing makes sense. Like yeah. none of the game is in the movie. But wasn't there? Hold on now. No, 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 no. This can't be right. No. Sonic, Sonic is probably the best one. But wasn't there one recently? I'm trying to think that that there was, was like pretty damn decent. I can't remember. I'm about to look this. Ready up. Player One doesn't count. It's about video games. Yeah, like that's VR got too stuff. many. <laughs> that's the most '80s referenced anything ever damn but that movie is pretty good though i mean it was better than i thought it was going to be ready player one being uh i mean i had like so many little shout outs in that one i loved too. it dude the fight scene when everything's in there you get like the ninja turtle references yeah. and which is which was my jam uh the angry birds movie that's what probably what you were thinking of that i mean does that count I, it's, I a it's, it's a phone game it's a phone it's a mobile game i've never hey, seen it i don't know if, hey, I don't know if it's hey good or not. i saw the first one i liked it Did, was it good i think they pulled it off for what how how do you turn a game about flinging birds into pigs and stuff That's into a film? <laughs> but they did it. They, did they it. pulled it off. I might have to make it a blockbuster I, mean, I know night. it's a children's film. <laughs> yeah. So you have to go into that with that, that mindset. Yeah. Like, a clearly, being a 36-year-old, I shouldn't enjoy this that much. But I did. What about the Mortal Kombat movies from back Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that first one was the shit. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. And have you seen the little teasers of the new one? I've, I remember there was like a YouTube video Hard that happened. R. Oh, no. I don't with know actual fatalities. No, they just got done filming it. It's coming. Oh, that yeah. sounds pretty neat. Dude. Everybody's racing to the finish line. They're trying to make like Sonic. Just nearly beat us. We got to make a good video game well, movie. I don't know if they're going to make their money back. Because did you hear how much they had to On spend Sonic? to redesign it? I saw that they like fired people like all throughout it. because, And I'd seen the original design they had on it. Kind of uh, not very good. What? What? <laughs> yeah. Human teeth yeah. first off. Like what in the fuck? <laughs> now, was it still Ben Schwartz voicing Sonic at that point in time? Because like the guy who's voicing Sonic now, I don't know if it was the same. I don't if it know. Was him still I don't know. I know they got in a lot of heat. The internet exploded. For doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, good he job. looked like shit. 
<laughs> and now yeah. he looks like Sonic. <laughs> which means they could have had it that way the entire time. <laughs> which means good for them. Yeah. They listened, which is crazy. And that's why I want to go see in theaters is because how often does that happen? Not very often. They're probably sitting in their big old offices being like, yeah. it's, it's Sonic. The kids are going to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kids oh, going to buy the popcorn. Well, they, that's what the problem is. They don't yeah. know what Sonic is. They don't give a shit. They're it's all Sonic. just... Oh, what? Yeah, cartoon. Who gives a fuck? Just put it out. And then the internet explodes. They're like, wait, we're going to lose money? Yeah. I thought, Shit. I thought it was about that restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Not the real sticks. <laughs> What's this blue little this bastard? This isn't a around? documentary. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I might see that. I've got this like movie deal thing with Regal. I can just go see movies. Ah, uh, like, yes. I had that with uh, AMC. Yeah. Same, yeah. So same kind of thing. That's how I went and saw like most of the little stragglers I hadn't seen in between like that Oscar season, like Little Women, which is really good. I haven't even seen Joker, man. Joker was really good. It was like four or five on my like list of like if I had to make like a list really? of like, the nine. Yeah, uh, Joaquin Phoenix would deserve the win for actor. Um, That's I don't right know if here. I would put it in best movie though. To be honest with well, you, well, I don't. I don't think those types of movie, you know, like uh, ca- character. Uh, <laughs> comic booky yeah. style shit I don't think any of those will ever was the Dark Knight nominated for best I think picture the Dark Knight was for best but picture that movie was on a different level yeah and I was, was I was saying it should have been <laughs> that was some otherworldly shit yeah. I don't know how Christopher Nolan pulled that off if all of this was then that should have been too which I know a big point about uh, Phoenix's like campaign here for award winning has know. been him giving credit he, to he, okay, Heath Ledger check this out so the DCEU is trying to do the campy thing like Marvel, and they're yeah. trying to be like cartoony, and it's fucking up left and right. <laughs> Every movie they make is dog shit more than the last one. We and, say that, but I've heard Birds of Prey is pretty good, though. I, but but is it just people fucking wanting it to be better than it is? Because they said the same shit about Aquaman, and that movie is... Yeah. Fucking hamburger meat. It's, I have not seen that. It's I, ass. I, I believed what you're saying now about that. <laughs> it's, it's total ass. So if... Like, look at what Nolan was able to do. It's one of the darkest fucking comic book films still. Still. Yeah. And probably and probably a lot to do with Christian Bale, too. Him as Batman is yes. like one of like the most... Well, and Heath Ledger's fucking Joker was yeah. mental. Yeah. That but, might... but he was able to do all that. It's dark as fuck. It's like, okay, you're, you're he played to the strength of the DC, and you guys are trying to run away from it. And I think that's what... I mean, they're killing it so bad. Like, just pay Chris Nolan a dump truck of money. Give him a whole dump truck full of money and just let him run the show. <laughs> just have the, give him the keys to the Jeep. <laughs> Thank you, please. <laughs> right. Let him turn the ignition. Um, I did see a trailer for his new movie. Uh, well, I'd say see. I've, I've done this thing since Hereditary came out um, that I don't watch trailers for movies I, I want to see. Uh, I'll watch the teaser. But if I it's like a watch, short one. Yes. But if it's anything over a minute, I'm, I'm out. That, okay, that, that works. I would do something like that if they had more of those. <laughs> right. I feel like yeah, they don't have a lot of five, them. six minutes. It's like, yeah, okay, like show the, the whole thing. Show yeah. the bat, last fight, whatever got going on big set pieces and stuff yeah. like that I hate that like I'm thinking about that the whole time I'm watching mm-hmm. things so I have to like avoid those I will leave the theater if a trailer comes on that I don't want to see I do this <laughs> yeah I, I do the uh, monkey see monkey or hear no evil <laughs> see no evil kind of shit I went with, with uh, Ted I, I went and saw Uncut Gems for the second time after I'd seen it the first time with good, Ted huh? yeah it, no it's, it's I haven't really seen good. that one either have you seen Good Time their no. other one, you should you should check that. It's on like on Amazon. It that's okay. like or Netflix too. I think right now, Netflix is what I have. I'll it's check it's that a out. good uh, depiction of what their style is in terms of like how anxious it can make you and Ooh. how the writing can like overlap. I love, I love films like that make me just. Ah! It puts you in a head. Sp- it puts you in like a space like where you're like, what is happening? <laughs> like I need this to to do something positive <laughs> yeah. here, but it, spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm just gonna that. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know how posi- okay. how many positives come out of their movies, but um, that's really good. And um, I can't remember where I was going when I started saying that, but um, ah, so you should check that out, though. I will. Yeah. I 100% will. I need new shit to watch. Mm-hmm. And that one will uh, definitely be one of those, like, well, I watched that, and Todd gave me a movie that <laughs> kind yeah, of just made I've me been, feel down uh, a little bit. I've been bit. watching uh, what, uh, Parks and Rec, and yeah. I watched the whole thing, and I kind of just didn't, I wasn't vibing with anything I was seeing, so I was just like, fuck, I'll just watch it again. Mm-hmm. So I just started it over. Parks and Rec, I got through about four or five seasons uh, before I just like kind of forgot to keep watching it. Uh, <laughs> I do that on a lot of things. The Office, Parks and Rec, uh, How I Met Your Mother, all those like I see that. comedy shows yep. that kind of like go for eight or nine seasons. Like they got, a, they've got good like comedy stuff. They got like good laughs. But I, I could say at six, at six, you're good. It should. I, I think it actually did end at six. Somebody was telling me it ended at six, but then it got renewed later, so they made a seventh. Yeah. And so honestly, Is that the last just, season. Yeah, the seventh okay. season. If you just stop at six, you're actually it ends like. It's pretty. I was like, wow. If this ended right now, it'd be amazing. 
is the actual ending is pretty good too. I don't know what it exactly is, but I've heard people say good things about the it's, ending of it's that show good. too. It's it's a little more oh uh, cheerful and it makes you feel good. And, yeah, you know. uh, I do like myself a good like series too though. Like, have you ever watched Fargo? This the series Mm-mm. that's great. You should check that out. It's on Hulu. I've seen the movie. That. And the... if you've seen the movie, you're one of the few opportune people who will appreciate the show more than because <laughs> <Probably, yeah. laughs> a lot of people uh, have not seen Fargo. That would that is my go to like favorite movie. A really, lot of the time whenever somebody asks, it's the one that first pops up in my head is Fargo a lot of the time it's just so like silly and so like dark at the same time it's great I get that yeah I don't have a there's too many for a favorite to go to there's too many anytime anybody asks me like favorite band or favorite anything like that I can't really do that but for some reason I have favorite movie locked and loaded in the chamber ready to go (laughs) I have have favorite bands that's a weird one too because I have like five basically but they just rotate there's no favorite yeah and I said earlier, like Incubus being one of my favorite bands. I don't even know if I could like peg them as that though. Because right. I love Hum. You know, I was afraid obviously has the Hum influence mm-hmm. there, and us having gone out and like recorded with Matt Talbot from Hum and everything like that. Like there is a a connection to that band that probably is won't match any other band. So that's usually my f- f- lingering thought of like what a favorite band would be too. Right. But um, have you ever made anything film wise? No. Dabbled. I have not. I've always thought it might be pretty fun to like act like in uh, something, but it's same. I don't know like many people who get off into that realm of things that would like be accessible for me to do like here in Arkansas. Like it's uh, growing. Yeah, it, it, there's a nice little film community growing, cropping up. And when that happens, I might <laughs> throw my hat in the ring and see if anybody wants to join in, or maybe like writing one day, like doing like yeah. a script or something like that, or even like a sketch, like skit comedy. There's yeah. like a group I th- a couple of my friends are in, and I was like, man, I really kind of want to go try this. <laughs> yeah, I've had one script idea. My whole thinking of like movies and everything, I don't even know if it'd be very good, but it's like about like a traffic court, like two dummies in a traffic court, two or three dummies in a traffic court trying yeah. to rob the the teller window <laughs> whenever they're leaving out of there. Who knows how it goes down? Uh, that's where the <laughs> chaos ensues. Watch the movie, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, duh. Sundance this Sundance. year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a world, yeah, we're two we're two idiots. <laughs> Rob a teller drove eighty in a sixty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like dude, where's my car? Meets the North Hollywood shootout. Oh, that's terrible. You know what? <laughs> it could be. It could be when it gets through that whole writing process, <laughs> like whole starting it up thing <laughs> that has to happen to get finished. I, it I, may cross. I've never like truly put pen to paper, but I have an entire film in my head. Yeah, that I'd like to get out. What's someday. the plot for that one? Uh, it's super fucking sad, actually. What's a one sentence plot for it? <sighs> two sentences. Uh, well, two sentences. <laughs> it's uh, well, it's just a, it's just a movie about depression, really. Well, that's one and sentence. Suicide. That works. <laughs> yeah. you know, oh, it's, okay. it's fucking dark. Yeah, the, the whole movie's dark as fuck. There's a lot. And of... It's about it. Well, my, so you know, and we all know somebody who's killed herself at right. this point yeah. in the game. But my buddy Kurt, uh, he. You know, he did it. He was one of the first close people. I've known other known known, <laughs> known other people. You know, wayside people that have done it. But like like he was like the first close kind. friend. Yeah, there's so nothing. There's nothing like that feeling of helplessness when something like that goes. It's down. It's crazy. Yeah, even every time it's just like what yeah and yeah. like a former member of I was afraid actually uh, took his own life too and yeah. same being Chase and like he was one of my really good friends too. So that is a definitely a hard like thought like a hard time it's for weird. everyone that definitely was a big shift <laughs> oh, in yeah. life and what uh, you want to focus on and what you want to put your uh, time the, into perspectives are you you question everything yeah. and that was probably about the time that i actually decided to stop going to school actually and like really? focusing on music more so just because, do what makes you happy man well, it was one of those things that like we left to record in illinois with uh, the guy from hum mm-hmm. um, and that was like a time frame of like a big mental transition too in terms of like i'm not feeling a certain aspect of my life right now and this is definitely where I'm feeling like the most happy or most in my zone so this is where I'm gonna reside I, I think that's life while. aside from <laughs> you know fuck money and all that shit like it's fun and having money sometimes can be fun but if you're not happy what the fuck are you right. doing man like I don't give a shit about a job that pays yeah if I'm not happy doing it Plus, so, if you're in school and you're not focused and you're just fucking it all off anyway, I yeah. mean... Yeah, so what do you want to do? <laughs> yeah. now, now now, you don't have the cool-ass job because you failed school <laughs> and you have a 
six figure fucking debt right in your beginning of life. The fuck, you know. Sounds awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, what up. I like to do is is stand on a field and taunt a bull until he just pulverizes my sack and just peruse my debt bills, <laughs> <laughs> flicking yeah. them around like a yeah. fan while I'm hot. <laughs> Never going to take me alive. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just burn that I'll shit. I'll own this field one day. <laughs> After I clear my debt. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, debt, you bastard. Pitiful bastard. I hate it. <laughs> and it's like once you get debt free. I've been debt free once. Yeah. And it was like, oh, man. And just, you I'm, know I'm what's luck- cool? PlayStation. <laughs> I'm lucky right now. I, I'm, I'm good right now. <sighs> like, I just need to, uh, I, I'm more of a credit building process right now. Because okay. I've never been one to, like, be out in the credit card. Yeah. Uh, I've always been, like, that type of person who is just like, if I, I have the money on something, I'll just spend it. And They're cash only, yeah. Yeah, or, like, debit, like, a checking account, basically. It's the same thing. But, you know, being uh, 27 years old and uh, trying to not be an idiot, <laughs> I hey, do man, recognize that I that made is it all the world. way to 36, and I'm still barely hanging on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like this whole band shit. I'm like, yeah. you know, I could just fucking say fuck everything, <laughs> go on tour for like a month. I don't know how I'd pull it off, but... Work at a bank. <laughs> but I'd rather, I'd rather do that. Yeah. I'd rather do that. I mean, I, you'll have more good times. You'll have more, uh, you know pleasant times with yourself and doing things even if it's not the best thing for you to do per se from other and, and that's opinion. all relative thinking yeah like oh well why because what i had to live in a shittier house or i had to drive a shittier car well yeah. that's perspective that's a lot of other people's perspective yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> Oh well, fuck it. Yeah, I don't give two hells. And realizing the non-importance of what yeah, other people man. think or feel about I'd what you're doing, because be, nothing, and you can probably attend, nothing beats the stage to me. Yeah, like, it it truly is a free feeling, man. Yeah, um, I would usually be one that wouldn't like sugarcoat words or something like that in terms of like sounding all fantastical or whatever. But right. it really does feel like different. <laughs> most most nights, most nights I've played, it's just like. You're so lost. It's yeah. so almost tra- like I hate not even like transformative, but it's just a, you're just like in, ooh, uh, the closest thing I could imagine doing like like the best of times, basically right, right then and there while you're doing right. it. I feel that too. Like Until you fuck up playing a part, and then you're Man, like, "Oh you're like, shit! All right, fuck everything! I'm gonna burn my drum set." <laughs> right I just crashed down everyone. to earth. Yep. <laughs> crash cast, crash crashed to earth. There you go. See, we're making things happen here in the we're studio. We're gonna do tonight, a folks. branch off series. Me and you talk about the worst shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crashing crash cast. <laughs> so Australia's on fire. The fu- <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's on my mind right now. That that, that album, that Under Oath album, right there. Yep. I just listened to that like two days ago again for the first time since around like that heyday mm-hmm. of Under Oath. That's a good album. <laughs> I think it's one of the most nuanced albums ever made. And well, I'll tell you this. How'd you listen to it? D- just the other day. Mm-hmm. Like, how did I do it? Well, it was one of those things like I was having. A, I was having some margaritas with a buddy of mine, ah. uh, Jacob, my roommate. <laughs> Shout out, head cold guitar player, great band. <laughs> um, we were having some margaritas. Uh, and uh, we were talking about that album. No, actually, I, I was talking about that album, but he brought up Define the Great Line. Define the Great the one Line. That he was like, that yeah. was the one I remember off the top of my head from them. Um, <coughs> but I listened back to that one, and that one definitely is uh, pretty slapping. That it's one, crazy. That one gets heavy. And no and, and no one talks about it anymore. Yeah. And light. Like, they have really good singing stuff on it, and like yeah, the heavy parts. Lost in the Sound of Separation being the album. I don't know if yeah, I like, yeah, mentioned yeah, the name of what we were talking about. Uh, but I, I actually, to me, that album right there is up with, like, Led Zeppelin. For you put it in your headphones. Don't listen to it on the speakers. Yeah, I say this quite often. Put that shit in your headphones. Close your fucking eyes and just listen to the Live music. It. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, what they were able to fit inside these songs. Their They're, guitar player is no slouch either. He's done a lot oh, of things Tim, for a lot of bands. Yeah, yeah, man. Like Norma Jean too. I feel like. like oh, and he co write on a lot. He of does things. a lot in hip hop now. He is like all that. over the place. I didn't know that. Who's he owns a with? beer company? Owns a coffee company. He he definitely set himself up a cush little uh, home, was home to come one, back yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like under oath. Uh, we're not gonna be able to tour this season yeah. because I will have my coffee brand new so opening. Well, now they're fucking touring with corn and shit. And a Slipknot now got announced. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I did Go. not notice that they were touring together. Uh, Where's Slipknot? That? A day to remember. Under oath and Code Orange. 
I've seen a day to remember an under oath play in Memphis. Is it happening in yeah. Memphis? Uh, yes. FedEx that's, form. That's funny. Well, oh, that's a huge upgrade for yeah, them, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. To, yeah, the well, new play, Daisy. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that was a, I can't remember how many years ago it was, damn. It was, it was a day to remember a headlining. a time ago. It was under oath before them. And there was another band there that I am not ever going to be able to remember who that is. Uh, probably Emma Rosa or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Who fucking knows? Uh, but that was a long time ago. And that was back when I was like, for sure, under oath listening. I haven't listened to under oath in a long time until Minus that two. until i listened to that yeah. i know they had like an album or two come out here recently uh just I, one. Oh, really when, when they came back their comeback album, album. Then? Yeah. okay is that any good i like it it's different it's not this it, it, and i've they definitely clearly, picked up on that they were clearly <laughs> going for the radio yeah and to me it's I'm aaron like, gillespie back more it? power to it well it's the whole band okay. yeah it's the whole original lineup well i say original it's the original from chasing safety but the old shit when they were death metal and yeah. stuff, and when the sun sleeps, that's all Dallas Taylor. It's yeah, 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 yeah. That song rips, though. Yeah, <laughs> that it, that would be the only song I, got I to could watch remember. Them play that song live. Really, I'm that old <laughs> with Dallas Taylor yeah, in them. Yeah. That's tight. Where's the village? Uh, Juanitas. Ooh, the village didn't stuff. exist yet. <laughs> yeah, the village was the first place I ever played a show at. No shit. Yeah, that was Which the first show? time I ever. It was with it was an old band called Save to Shore. It was Darby and, uh, okay. and Parker. I think was on here here recently. I, I think I had. To be, yeah, Parker was on here recently. Yeah. I had to have been there. I worked there for the whole time it was really? open. It was yeah. the um, the first show I ever played was the – what was the band called? Fear. Fear of the Aftermath? No. Fear Before the March of Flames? Fear, in, in Fear and Faith? In Fear, fear and Faith. Faith and Confide. Yeah, okay. It was oh, Confide yes. and In Fear and Faith, yes. I was there. I used to love Confide. Yeah. Um, that one album where their faces are blurred out is really good. It. <laughs> uh, look it up, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah, that was the first show I ever played, so that was pretty nerve wracking. Like in terms of that, like a lot of people probably play their first show at like some like kind of you know like a place like Juanitas or like a Vinos or something like yep. that. So, but the Village of yeah. all places with a bigger band too. I will say that I remember it not being very like packed. It was like a Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what the what in fear and faith and confides rep <laughs> were looking like at that current time. But uh, that was a fun time. Time, which you know shout out to those guys for giving me my first opportunity to get up and uh, do some some play in live with one hell of a pa system being darby parker austin travis and uh, aaron <laughs> just yeah. to drop name drop all of them <laughs> do it no that's uh that's that place was something special to me still i'll never forget that place that yeah. was some of the most fun i've ever had in my life yeah i remember the scream the prayer that used played to come it. there uh, did, you played one of those uh-huh. which one did you play the one with uh, Haste the Day. And, I was uh, there then, yeah. yeah. And had like Project whatever, 86, I think. It's, I've never listened to that band, but I just know it that was... It was uh, who, uh, not a... O Sleeper? O Sleeper, yes. Uh, Is Sleeping a, Giant. That's oh, who yeah. I'm I remember they made everybody get on the floor. Yes. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> get on the floor! Yeah. Luckily Let's stay was, down there! Yeah, luckily I was doing merch, so I didn't have to follow his rules. Just like in a room <laughs> looking at everybody on the floor. He's like, what the fuck <laughs> Yeah. It's happening here. It's like, okay, man, can we stand up? It's fucking floor is disgusting. I remember it being a pretty long little while. It was a few minutes. <laughs> but then they were like, you know, jump the heck up. <laughs> and then uh, we all lo- leaped up and the I mean, fun times fun. began. It was fun. That show was weird, though. Because, yeah. like, I don't think anyone was there for Haste the Day. That Did they crowd headline? got smaller as the night went on. They headlined? Yes. Okay. I only knew that. I can only recall that one song. But that album, I think it was Dreamer was out and that album was blah. <laughs> really i was i've never been like a huge i know a lot about haste today fan I, 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 I bought that album at best buy i made it down halfway down 6 30 and that made it to the fucking side of the street on 6 30 oh, no. right out the window dude <laughs> oh no i hate it i still hate it <laughs> leave a bad best buy review you're like i can't believe they let me buy this album <laughs> no 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 no. i don't do that but i was just kidding it was, um, it was bad man this like uh when everything falls away that's the name of the song i was thinking of a second ago when i will stand i will stand yeah i'm sure that everybody knows that song falls away. yeah that was the only one that i could like this one forever oh my till i die dude i was like in the crowd waiting for that song i was like yeah this is all cool where's that song i know my era would be like american love yeah Never should have let you go. I feel like other another a couple other bands played that like in like the oh there was there was a ton I can't remember them all it was a whole like thing it was it, y'all uh, being a local band that played that show was there another local band on there was the yeah. Silence Asleep play that too maybe I don't know I, I don't even really know many of their songs it's too long ago. A band, them being a band for a long time I remember the my, the only two things I remember is one we played it. Haste today was there and oh and then Sleeping Giants bassist bought one of our T shirts that oh, was fun that's cool. He was like, yeah, man, that was cool. And then he bought it. We were going to give it to him because we're like, yeah. whoa. 
<laughs> that but is he pretty was like, cool. No, I'll, here. I liken that to the time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, it's not very similar. <laughs> before. Yeah. I'll preface it with that. But uh, the time where we played with, I was afraid to play with Defeater at uh, at downtown. And we covered uh, Ohio's for Lovers oh. from Hawthorne Heights. And uh, either the singer or somebody in Defeater like, filmed it and was like, <laughs> I'm going to send this to the singer. <laughs> that was Uh-oh. one of those things that we were just like, oh, how cool. <laughs> but is it good? <laughs> if it's not good, don't send that shit because... <laughs> Can we, Embarrassing. Review, can, we, can we review it first, <laughs> yeah. please? Seriously, let the tape show. Yeah, <laughs> that cover was shit. <laughs> it might not have been. It might have been pretty good. I have to. I can't remember how that went down. Well, next time they come through, you should be like, "Hey, like nine years ago, did a guy send you a video?" <laughs> he says, "You, <laughs> you. <laughs> I've been waiting for you yeah, this yeah. whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome." Yeah. Uh, speaking of covers, uh, so y'all played "Every Time I Die" yes. here recently, right? What other covers have y- y'all gotten into and playing in y'all's nope. tenure? That's it. Any man. other cover, like one, one they covers? They used to before I was in the band. They okay. would do a, a Fear Before cover because that's what inspired the band, I, I guess. Okay. And is they that would, a band? Fear yeah, Before? Yeah, Fear Before the March of Flames. I don't know who that is, I don't guess. This is older stuff, but it's yeah. like a little bit crazier. And they were like the original inspiration. Justin tells the story better, but they used to cover one of their songs. I think that's the band. And then I don't like covers personally, but which is ironic because now I'm in a cover band. <laughs> who are you so, covering? Huh? Who's the cover band cover? It's called Beck and the Boys. It has a female front, and it's just me, Justin, and John, and we just are like the boys. So we wanted it. We kind of knew our marketing because it's our singer Todd's wife, and she has a voice like an angel. Cool. So we were like, yo, Great we singers ain't, that like, first. Like, he ain't shit. <laughs> Yeah, we are background noise to her voice, so we know our role, and we stay in the background and just keep. Keep beat. Do y'all cover any particular thing, or do you kind of just like whatever feels good for the Dude, time? it's all over the place, and we cover even like our stuff. Like we do an almost cover. You cover my hands to war. Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've heard those songs acoustic, and I, I will fight to the death for them never to happen. <laughs> Is this more of an acoustic project? Is this more no, of like no, a... No, it's a band. Okay, uh, okay. So we have a drum set, bass, a guitar, and then a vocalist. Full-fledged then. Yeah, yeah. it's full-on, it's full on, but like the way she sings it, it's just like crazy. Like we'll, we toss in an almost song at this thing that we did what song it was uh uh oh my wife's gonna kill me it's it's like our song hand grenade that's not on southern weather monster 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 wouldn't know it it's (laughs) It's basically a country rock album and i've i've listened to that album back when Uh, i listened to the almost lot i love southern weather that album is awesome southern weather's shit too but monster monster just didn't click with me i feel like oh it did me i I love that album but anyway we played that song in like a fucking breezeway of a mall yeah and like a bunch of people came up was like wow i really like that song what was that and i'm like a band you've never fucking heard of (laughs) she's like just wrote it this morning yeah (laughs) actually I'm uh, cool. super talented. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Got a record contract? Yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah. Bring out tons no, of those bangers. Get out of here, bitch! <laughs> Got tons of those bangers. Yeah. Waiting in the wings. <laughs> Just to cover fucking Once we dollars. listen to some more albums. <laughs> like that movie yesterday where the guy wakes up and he's the only one that remembers the Beatles. I've seen that around. I'm not, I don't know anything about that movie. Is that what that's about? Yeah. That sounds pretty interesting. That sounds, sounds, I never saw it, but I watched the trailer a hundred times. Is it a comedy? I think it's a dramedy. Okay. I think it's a comedy drama. Yeah. I do believe. Like, think about it a lot, but you're laughing a little. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a good premise. Yeah. But then again, it's probably a musical, and I'm just not kind of into musicals either. Uh, you gotta you gotta be like on another level if if I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm trying to think of the last musical that I really like. Probably a Pixar film for me, yeah, or was, a Disney film of some sort. Was Coco a musical? I didn't see it Coco, was. but I know a lot of people like that. Uh, it was Baby Driver a musical? <laughs> I, <don't> think so, <laughs> I think it just had a wicked soundtrack. <laughs> well, they they danced along with it and stuff. I ca- I consider it a musical. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Favorite musical of the last year is Baby Driver. Did Dri- they two sing years. with their mouths? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, scratch that last comment. Dancing, <laughs> dancing, maybe. That's a weird gray. We'll in call the, it a gray area. In the first scene of the movie, uh, he's dancing, getting coffee. Uh, the main guy and the words of the song are on the wall behind him. Does that count? I would say no. Well, if he's not singing it, well, I'm, I'm out of ideas. Here. <laughs> I think we got to say it's not a musical then, <laughs> which I, I can accept. I would. I would. I would. Ha- yeah, I would have to say no. Okay. I'll I think that. a musical is very, you know, everyone's involved. You're going to have some backing vocals, too. Like, hey, Prick, we got music. Right. We <laughs> like, have music. They're going to be known. <clears throat> like Across the Universe. Okay. That's yeah. 100% a musical. Okay. 
Not Baby Did Driver. Did you see that movie? <laughs> you know, I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never seen the whole thing all the it's way through. It. it looked trippy from the trailer that used to play in a lot of my movies I had back in the day. I don't remember which ones. I just remember it was a it was a constant preview I would see on like DVDs. What's like your go to for film? Mine's comedy, man. I just the first thing that popped into my head when you said that was like go to uh, go to sleep go to movies like what I put on to go to sleep to. Do you have any of those that you like? I, I have to sleep in pitch black. You do okay, yeah. which I do that. It's like a half for me. Like right. half the time I need some pitch black, some quiet. The other half I need uh, some noise going on of mm. some kind in the background. And I'm and I would say the two for that would be uh, sideways. I just watched that last night going to sleep. Good, yeah, yeah. With Paul Giamatti. <laughs> yeah. um, even though that movie, like a lot of people would probably think that was boring as all hell. <laughs> it's like a movie about wine, but I love it. Yeah, the music and everything in it, it's really good. And Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation. It's, I don't th- I don't it's Bill Murray it. and uh, Scarlett Johansson, and they're yep. in they're in uh, Tokyo, I believe, and uh, it's like them like meeting, and he's like a ad rep or like a, he's in advertising, sure. he does commercials, but the semi cool thing which I didn't always know about that movie is it's directed by I think it's Sofia Coppola and she's married I think this is the right string of facts uh, that she's married to the guitar player of uh, My Bloody Valentine and he does the soundtrack for that movie how about that and it is really it has like a lot of droney like music parts in it where they're like Hell going yeah. through the city and stuff it's really like I might have to give it, it a has watch. a mood it has Lost a, a translation? for sure mood. yeah okay. it's one of my favorite Bill Murray it, I might say it's my favorite Bill Murray movie well, no I'm not I didn't grow up on Ghostbusters and stuff like that too like classic Murray I like Groundhog's Day a lot too that yeah. would probably be a, a, a tie <laughs> <laughs> or uh, what was the one where he's Zombie spies Land. like us? <laughs> I've not Land. seen that. But see, I love movies, but there are a lot of things. Chevy Chase. There are a lot of movies like from back in the day that I would not have seen from like before. I like oh, said like I sure. really dig movies now. Sure. Like when I really started sitting and watching a lot more of them, there are a lot of things I still haven't seen from back in the day. Okay. Like people will probably hate me. Um, I was not a Star Wars guy really. I did not watch Star Wars growing up, so it didn't have a connection for me. I, later I, on, I could see that my I mean, parents. Your parents either were into it or they weren't, and they weren't. And my dad managed a video store, so I got to see all kinds of shit. Yeah, you were set up on a movie. Dude, I was watching Jason films when I was like seven. My parents wouldn't let me watch R-rated movies, so I was like Horror the age stuff. of yeah. 17, like that they knew of, you know, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so like, Well, my, my parents' boys will be boys. philosophy was don't get hurt too bad. <laughs> yeah, kids will be kids. I'll always remember the first time I ever got in trouble a lot watching an R-rated movie like that I wasn't supposed to be watching right. was uh, me and my cousin Jordan uh, would stay at my grandma, uh, my grandparents' house us a lot at the time when we were kids just like some weekend trips of and course. stuff and uh we, we would like go rent movies from time to time and i remember she was like we were in prison the, the um, shelves and we were like um ag, well, her name's ag we call her ag basically and we were like um is this good and we picked up blair witch project <laughs> <laughs> and she was like yeah i think i've seen that yeah i think yeah. it's pretty good i think it should be okay for us to yeah. watch like for your parents to be all right with it and everything like that i took that we took that watch it you know have you watched that oh recently? yeah that shit is scary it's scary dude <laughs> at the time scary. it was terrifying i love that movie because yeah. if you didn't know that it was f- fucking set up you'd yeah. be like oh my god plus that movie says fuck like 150 oh, yeah, times yeah. <laughs> yeah, <at least. laughs> so, so we're watching it like eyes bug yeah. like bug eyes like what is this <laughs> that was like the most that had to have been like the most like indie like at the what time, the fuck is this kind yeah. of movie that I'd seen at that point in time? So was, that definitely left me in a. If you think about it, it's kind of funny to say, but that movie was pretty groundbreaking. It w- absolutely was. Have you ever looked at the trivia, or like how that movie got made? They just put them in a forest and uh-huh. were like, "Hey, look for some clues, and we'll tell you what to react to." Yep. Like just react, and and we'll get it. And just, we'll scare the shit out of you, and, <laughs> and you just and accept the that. Budget is a hand cam. Yeah, like seventy five cents. That shit at the fucking <laughs> pawn shop, man, right. and. Perfect movie, like yeah. the way it was done. I still love that. People movie. thought they died. People yes. thought that like people were missing because they weren't actors. They oh just put them God. in there. Yeah, they just put people. It's in crazy, there. and then they just produced some shit after that, like a some like not found footage sequel to it. Ugh. But the newer one, that Blair Witch uh, like remake or whatever, that I never came saw out, it. It was not bad. I thought it was pretty good. I liked watching it when I watched it. Um, I really liked the fact that they called it something different in the previews, and yeah. then like a month before it came out, they're like, "Oh, psych, bitch! It's Blair Witch." It's Blair Witch. <laughs> That's right. They did. Do that. Yeah, and that was like, whoa! That was mind yeah. blowing at the time. Did you ever see that movie, Witch? Oh, I love, I love Robert Eggers, I, fucking, Edgers, Eggers, something like that. Yeah, so I just rewatched some of that back the other day. Whoa. It is crazy. Have you seen The Lighthouse yet? Not yet. It's, it's. I really want to, man. I think I like The Witch more. 
really? but it definitely is uh, up there and it's like quality <sighs> with that the, though. The fucking preview for that movie is one of the most trippy previews the I've witch. seen in a minute. No, the, oh, the White House. House. It, it's trippy. It for sure is trippy. And I was listening to the episode where the where the guy was talking about it. They said he had just seen it about how like he had like an English teacher yeah, <laughs> or like yeah, a yeah. Uh, or somebody yeah. next to you that that would like be the only way you could understand <laughs> that he is that, that was more true than you think. Okay, <laughs> because it definitely has some like ties to like it's like connected to things that you wouldn't know unless gotcha. you like knew things about that kind of history and everything like that, which I'm a dumbass, So I don't know things like that. I just I like just a good go movie along, or two. Man. Yeah. If the movie's good, I don't give a shit. It's yeah. like, uh, how are you a fan of, are you, so are you a fan of like subtitles or anything? Cause I no, I'm fucking, I fucking hate them. Yeah. I would rather just, if it, okay. So say it's a Japanese film, foreign film or Korean or whatever, mm-hmm. just, just be in Korean. I don't, I don't fucking care that I can't understand the language. Make the body, I will say that that is an interesting point. I've never heard anybody have that take on it. Just to like pick up from like their dialect, what's going well, on? And like everything. In my, in my main go to, I know it's animated, but my yeah. main go to is the movie Wall-E. Oh, that movie is two hours, and for an hour and a half, there's zero dialogue, mm-hmm. and you know exactly what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, that's, so I'm like that's craftiness. But you can do that with people actors too. You yeah. don't have to animate it. You just got to get some damn good actors. You watch Parasite like that, you're going to be having some fucking questions. <laughs> Dude, I would love to. I love turning the subtitles off. My yeah. uh, my wife keeps them on even for like regular shit. And it, it takes my attention away from what's going yeah. on. I like look at them too much. My eyes draw to it, I think. I think I have too much. <laughs> I'm a simple boy and my eyes do the that. ADD? Uh, yeah, that probably plays a part. So I'll just, be like, I'll just be watching and then all of a sudden I... I will not even, without noticing, I'm like, I've been reading this fucking TV show yeah. for 20 minutes. I didn't even look at the screen. I just read it. Yeah, and I, that is probably one of my bigger things against it, too, is the fact that it just, like, takes my attention away from what I should be paying attention to when yeah. I'm watching something. Especially something new. Yeah. Something that's just like, oh, I didn't see that crazy shit that just happened because <laughs> I was reading a contraction <laughs> in the subtitles, <laughs> seeing if there was a spelling error. <laughs> I was looking for typos, yeah. and, the, and the main character just got blasted. I'll tell you what, the, the YouTube ones are pretty good because they have a lot of errors. I think whatever's doing like some of the stuff. Like yes. <laughs> I imagine that uh, the person doing that does not get paid enough. <laughs> I'll tell you what else is funny. No, that, so that viral video shit. Yeah. So it's all over the world. I talked to a guy from Portugal the other day for like 20 really? minutes using Google Translate. Yeah. Now, the tr- Google Translate does pretty damn good. But the translator on the Facebook app is... Not the, good? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> I haven't experienced that a lot, so I don't know. I don't so really I'm exactly going know. through, and there's people from, like, Germany, and all, but they're commenting in their language, so mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, shit, and so I hit C translation. But then I, it was like, what? Somebody put yeah. <laughs> something funny, ha ha, something, something, and then just ice hockey. <laughs> <laughs> is what somebody else commented back, and I was like, "That makes no fucking sense." <laughs> this code, yeah, it's code. <laughs> it's code between them. They're they're insiders. Maybe together working. in Germany, ice hockey is what ice they hockey. call concerts. <laughs> when you hear ice hockey in Germany, you bounce. <laughs> you bounce. <right? laughs> you don't stick around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that means some shit is going down. You dig hockey? You like sports of any kind? I love football. You're a football. I was just playing some Nakaa 14 before I came. Really? <laughs> some NCAA. I, hockey's that's, like the only one I like. Really? Yeah. I, and that's the only video game. I like is that college football game. I love so football. I do like watching. Uh, they've had like the XFL come on here recently and stuff mm. like that too. So that's been coming back around. Um, hockey. I've enjoyed watching hockey, but I don't watch hockey. Better live. <laughs> you th- live is crazy. that would be cool. I think yeah. anything better live is probably going to connect you right. to it. I think if I went to anything live, I'd probably have some sort of resemblance of. Like, I think you're probably I right because like I went to a baseball game, at Ranger Stadium, with yeah. the opening day. Not the new one they just built, but the one that they built before that. Yeah. And that was actually pretty fun. I've, I've been and to I a couple. I hate baseball. I'm not a big fan. I was just about to agree with you right there because <laughs> I've been to some Travelers games. That's the only thing, like baseball uh, right. thing I've been to. Um, and being at those games did not <laughs> connect me with loving baseball exactly. <laughs> so maybe maybe there's not a 100% success yeah. rate on that. I don't think so. The it's side probably, shows. <laughs> I was also like fucking seven. So yeah, when that happened. Need to put that, and they gave me free ice cream for walking in the door. So <laughs> they, they knew how to play to their. You know, you know <laughs> a little bit of a different angle there. Not a not an adult they're like get the ice cream this kid's gonna be yeah. a fucking fan for life yep. <laughs> dude i had the little helmet they served it to me for fucking i probably just recently threw that thing away just a few years ago i have to the helmet yeah they they served the ice cream in a little 
tiny baseball helmet. That's plastic. crazy. Yeah. They're like, we're out of bowls. Just say it's how it's supposed just, to be done. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's novelty. This kids. shit's Shut been up. in the attic for like 20 years. Just pull these out. Here. Um, I had to have been to a hockey game at some point in time. I remember uh, when I was uh, a child, a young lad, I remember I had some hockey pucks in my um, my drawer. There you go. Oh, well, no, mine's gone. They I would just Dallas be sitting Stars in there. there. <laughs> I'm like, I've never played hockey. <laughs> I don't remember going. I played street hockey. hockey for a little bit. Tree hockey? Street. Oh, I thought you said tree hockey. No, that would be insane. I was like, how does that work? <laughs> You're just getting trees and throw shit There's at each one other. Tree in a until field. one of you fall down. <laughs> you have to hit the puck. Whoever hits the tree first gets 10 points because that shit is hard. Dude, I got stuck in a tree once by my fucking kneecap. Stuck in a tree? Like a, yeah. like a hole in a tree? Like, you know how trees, the branches come down like a V? Yeah. I fucking fell from one branch and my knee went and you, wedged in there. You Alice in Wonderland. I did. <laughs> oh, except hell. I was screaming for like two hours and nobody came. This is not Disney. And what's well, the best part is I was trying to retrieve a grappling hook that oh. I threw up in the tree. Damn. A that, real one. That sounds shitty. Yeah, I stuck totally in a tree. ruined the fucking day. Trying to get your grappling hook. Yeah. I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just, just I got my face stuck in a fence once. <laughs> Do when tell. I was like nine. At an, ice, at an ice cream shop. Nah, I was like one of those. The wood slat. Like got some poles there. I don't know what my dumb ass was doing. I stuck my head in there. I was trying to look at something. Never comes back out, man. <laughs> Never comes back out. I could still be there. I could be in some state of like <laughs> yeah, illusion. Shot. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like wake up and they're like, we just got you out. <laughs> I lived a whole life. You're on some wicked DMT trip from shock. I just had an existential crisis in your <laughs> podcast room. <laughs> you know what's fucked up is that could be the truth. The simulation. We're all living in Ty's simulation for when he got his head stuck in a fence there at an ice go. cream place. <laughs> and as you leave here, I'll just deteriorate. <laughs> into you a get thanos Yeah. I'll, I'll snap back. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I don't know. I think they had to call like the fire department. No shit. Like they had to grease me up and get oh, me out. Man. Or either that or they just or yanked pry me. The, pry the bar apart. <laughs> just pull on him. His neck's just, fine. Yeah. He's young. He can recover. <laughs> well, you're just old enough. You might have been in that. Yeah, just fucking do it. It could have been. They said he's got plenty of years. He'll forget about this. He'll forget. Until now. Until right now. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in years. And then all this disappears and you wake up with an ice cream on the ground crying. <laughs> Hell. Mommy. If only, <laughs> huh? Yeah, I mean, you know... <laughs> I, I would I would love to say crazier things have happened, you know, and it wouldn't surprise me. Had good ice cream. I could go for, I could go for a bowl of ice cream from that eight or nine year old area of where right? we were getting that up. Ice cream tasted Wake better me up. when I was younger. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, like now I eat it and like my teeth are a little older, so it hurts kind of. Yeah. Like, I was a sher- shit. I was a sherbet guy. Oh really? Sher- sherbet. 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 If you're old as fuck, it yeah sherbet. <laughs> sherbet. <laughs> well, I was an old little old if little you're, fucker if then. You're my grandmother. Because yeah, I was sure. calling it sherbert. <laughs> yeah, that's what I called it. Sherbert. <laughs> sherbert. Uh, <laughs> I think I just liked that it was orange. Yeah, of course. I think there's more colors in Neon. that. Yeah, there's pink and green. It's pretty good. You didn't tell me that back in the day. All right, <laughs> it was orange. Or orange get the hell out. Then, yeah. <laughs> or friends. Fred, uh, the, the, the push pops. Oh yeah, those ruled. Wonder balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about some old, some old advertised candy? Wonder balls. Uh, Did you ever oh, get one of those? Well, if we're going from my childhood, we had uh, candy cigarettes. Uh oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really setting your mind right. Fucking warheads. Uh, just, everything was pre single packaged, and it all cost a nickel. I just had a warhead for the first time, and I don't know how long. The other day, I was at a buddy's house, and his son, my buddy Did Garrett, it fuck you up. His son is like uh, a younger kid, and he was just like, "Let's see how many warheads we can oh, eat." Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do here. I love spicy food, but sour, like extremely sour. Yeah, it'll it'll kill your jawline. Oh, <laughs> I put it in, and uh, I put the one uh, warhead in, and my mouth is just like that yeah, <laughs> feeling yeah, that it gets. Yeah. And his son's over there, pop, pop, pop. Uh-uh, <laughs> he puts some warheads in. I'm like, you brave little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I want to be you when I grow up. Do you remember for a little while they would sell warheads in a paint bucket, a whole gallon paint bucket? That That's selling murder. Yeah. That's <laughs> selling that, a murder dude, by sour. After about sour. two of those, the roof of your mouth was just toast. You have no mouth. No. <laughs> it <just> burns off. <laughs> Trying to get some feeling sensation, rubbing in teeth. Ugh. That's I'm I'm grimacing, thinking about uh-huh. having to do that. A warhead bucket challenge. Oh. Get fucked. <laughs> Never gonna do it. Uh. I make it through one, like I did the other night. And I'm, I'm just telling like, you, I literally me. felt my jaw tingled when you said that. Ugh. Yeah, I hope all the listeners out there just kind of. My teeth hurt, <laughs> man. Yeah, <laughs> you shit. Feel <laughs> oh, bucket warhead challenge. No. Yeah. 
That's, I think three is my maximum. That's that's a viral video waiting to happen too. Hey, I mean anything is possible. I, I'm a firm believer in it now. <laughs> I, not get for out, me. Get out there. <laughs> that's not possible for me. Get out there and do the bucket <laughs> challenge. You thought ice buckets were the shit. How about warhead buckets? <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> you just pop them all out. All right, grab your fistful, Henry. <laughs> you know how the uh, coaches and sports teams get like the Gatorade bath after yes. they get done winning games. After you win the bucket warhead challenge, they dump another bucket of warheads on you <laughs> and just pelts yeah, you with warheads oh, in your most delicate state yeah. of having just mouth bleeding. 500 warheads. You got like three missing teeth. <laughs> You're like, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it every day of the week <laughs> for my reputation that is built off of this game. Right. All right. Worst show ever. Go. Uh, that you ever played. I've got one loaded that I can say if I can't think of another one. I feel like there's a worse one possibly, which it has to be. Darby had talked about it when uh-huh. he was on here too. It was the one in Fort Smith. Okay, same one. It, it was the one that like there we arrived and they were just like, a show? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, uh, show you out the door because we don't know anything about what you're talking about. Uh, the one where we made like the grunge night sign mm-hmm. and shit like that. That was crazy. That the, the guy, Darby <laughs> did forget the fact that the guy did show up that night. He showed up later, like when it was like go time, like we got to go start this now. Right. He did, um, not bring a PA though. And so Ooh, like that was the good thing, the thing was, is that a PA did arrive that night, but it was after the band we were trying to sad armor was the name of them. Now youth pool is their name. Now great band for uh, worth checking out. Okay. Um, they had just got done playing without vocals, what? and then they were like, "We got the PA." <laughs> and they came running through the door, and they're like, yeah, "Yeah, we can do it now." So we still didn't play with vocals. It was one of those things. that was like, "Well, they didn't," so we're just so gonna we're like, just not, yeah. "We're just gonna jam it real quick and Solidarity. head to the house." Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And like the bikers that were you know sitting at the bar, like their usual whatever night of the week that mm-hmm. was, they saw some some little geeks get up and play some <laughs> sets that night. <laughs> they shot their pool. They went home yeah. like it was normal, and that was that. <laughs> How was the bar, uh, Jeff? You know, I wish I could remember more than that. I think I've blocked that out of my memory for the most part right. in terms of that. Um, yeah, the more traumatic ones you tend to. I, my, who man, maybe, well, it was a show we didn't even play. Shreveport, yeah. Louisiana. Like, the guy showed up two hours late to his own venue. Yeah. Then he introduced himself as Nick the Dick. Oh, my God. That, it, <laughs> and then, before we could even get so, like, you know, when you go in, you set up your shit, and if there's, like, a little offstage area, yeah, you, you, like, pre-stage your drums and your gear and all that kind of shit. And I'm, like, sitting there putting my cymbals on my stands, and our bassist comes walking around, and he's like, yeah, man, y'all can play the show tonight, but I'm, I'm fucking out of here. That guy just yelled at me for literally walking into the wrong door. He was so, true to his name. <laughs> no, seriously, and I went, and I had the cymbal on the stand, I just put it down, and I went, all right, and I put it back, and put it back he's in like, my case. look, bros, yeah. I told you I'm the dick. Yeah. <laughs> all right? Oh, oh, and then after <laughs> gotta keep we my rep all, up. Oh, while we were packing up, oh, no, 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 come on, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's like, fuck you, guy. <laughs> I do have another one that I remember now from this most recent West Coast tour. Uh, there was a show that we played out in Washington. Washington that like it probably I don't guess it got like advertised at all really mm. either too but there was no one there like some people that we knew that like came up to see us like specific like hey we'll be there like four or five people but other than that the local band played there was nobody there for them like it was like they played and I think they I don't know if they left I don't want to say that they left after they got done playing without knowing that for sure but it was one of those things that we were playing we got there and they were like so do you guys like still want to play or <laughs> we are just like uh, yeah we just drove about five hours to get here I reckon we do yeah I mean and even if it's to a room of nobody I mean I guess we're, well I mean I say that but now that I'm taking a devil take them on the head like right now like I, if like going the, back if we experienced yeah. that again I don't know if we would play again that right. night I mean the guy was nice enough that we were talking to when we got there and so I was like hey there's nobody really here but like we can still do it if you want to and like we did so i mean it was like you know we came and we saw and we did not conquer (laughs) the hope is that at least one or two will kind of stagger in and you'll catch them and then the next time there'll be 10 and that was like a tuesday or wednesday night too and and like i don't even remember the name of the town washington so uh (laughs) I understand why there was nobody there, right? And there's no hate there. If you got work at, in uh, eh. in wherever the hell Washington on Wednesday morning yeah. at five a.m., I probably wouldn't want to be there either. 
But we stayed in Seattle that night. You know, uh, biggest joy I've had out of playing any music is just getting to see the country, basically. Right. Or in, in Canada, too. I was afraid to get to go to Canada for a little bit. I want to get the fuck to Canada, for sure. Yeah. Playing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just crazy to, like, think about the fact that, like, knowing bands and people that, like, you know, once you do get up there and, like, and meet I, people I'd and like everything. i to go to Mexico, too, man. I don't yeah, know if I it's that was viable, cool. you know, with all the shit going on down there no. right now, but with, like, the drug lords and all that stuff. Yeah. But still, because all the footage you see from metal shows there is, like... Crazy stuff. They go fucking... For it, man. Yeah. I'm just like, shit. We get shit done down here. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they fucking do. Yeah. Uh, but like, you know, just getting to play with some cool bands like that, like Pine uh, is a band from Canada that we uh, got to be friends with and everything. And they're putting out, they just put out a really good album here recently uh, that's worth checking out too. What's uh, your name? Pine? P-I-N-E. Pine. Pine? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. They're really cool. From Canada? From Canada. Yeah. Like Toronto. I think, I think that they're okay. on, well, they are on No Sleep too. So they're like, oh, they've cool. got like a quite a little bit of a way to keep going. I'm just going to hit their stuff. whole roster up and just be like, yeah, man, just send them down my way. Yeah. I'm just going to interview your whole fucking roster. <laughs> and if they can't come, we'll Skype it. There you go. Uh, I'm like, still trying to figure that shit out. My buddy has a machine and there's like a thing and makes it all like the, the audio less shitty. Yeah. Because I've never even the, used Skype. It's not great. Is it not? I don't like it. I know that that's a lot why of, I'm hesitant to not do it. Some podcasts do that where they have like the people that are usually on there. They yes. just bring them, phone them in on Skype and everything. and Or uh, FaceTime or whatever. I guess there's just really good engineers out there that kind of just can yep. make that a little bit more seamless. Than yep, it, than and it I don't appears. know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are there are some good ones, and you're just like, wow, it sounds like they're just fucking in the room. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm that's a novice. Computer magic, smoke and mirrors. Dude. <laughs> that well, that's what jumbo. we usually run off of. Oh, yeah. And so, like, me and you were sitting here in front of my laptop, but I'm yeah. doing a bunch of one-off stuff probably for a while. Probably a lot easier doing it on this, like a little bit consolidated and everything. It's nicer because I can take it to the living room. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah, know, sure and just hang is. out with my wife and be on the couch and... Edit yeah. audio from the comfort of a couch is pretty drag cool. Your, yeah. <laughs> Tank, <laughs> take the fucking iMac just out there, <laughs> honey. I'm sorry you can't uh, watch TV right now. I gotta yeah. block the view with my get, get the get the dinner tray out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use the computer screen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just book. <laughs> I do my work, <laughs> multitask. <laughs> it's whatever. I do. I do. Uh, I am trying to move this to a spot where I can set it all back up. And do you, you have know, like pieced out in your mind how you want it all set up when you get to your new place? Have you been in? there? No, I haven't. I haven't seen it in a while. So it's kind of like I'll just make do, you know? Because <laughs> right, I'm, I, I don't really have an option. Yeah. So I'm just going to make do. And then hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to do like the full, like I can do these. There's my interface there. I can do eight people. I can do whole bands. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's fun. I love having whole bands in here, especially like if, like there are no remorse dudes. It got fucking crazy in here. I bet you got a few people in here and get like <laughs> the, the energy oh. levels. Up. Well, especially if like somebody's smoking weed or something, right. cause this room is it's not small, but it's not big. It can uh, get a little cloudy. It gets here, a little. It gets a little. Everyone gets a touch of uh, <laughs> a little dosage. Yeah, you're getting dosed. <laughs> Touched by the angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so even myself, and I'm a fucking lightweight. Live with mean green. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, and I'll be in here, and I'll just be like staring into nothing and realize I haven't said shit in a minute. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like oh fuck. <laughs> it gets really. It gets real interesting. <laughs> well, hell. Yeah, well, we'll have to get uh, if if you would have us. I'd love to have pet like the pet guys in here too. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if Zach and Chris and Evan are like some band yeah. collectives coming back and doing. I've had Chris too. on before. Uh, oh, yeah? He did the pedal podcast, which was fun as fuck. He is very well versed. In I that know. Stuff, I really so. want to do more stuff like that. I'd love to have like a real like maybe uh, I've had Jared Ives on before, but. Maybe have like a couple of drummers and like show off technique. That'd be cool. I know Pat would like to be here. I know Ted would like to be here too. And, and do like a like actual sound bites. Like that's the cool shit we did with Chris. Is like I set up an amp, and we recorded. Yeah. And he would play, and so he would like this is this demo pedal. things. This is what it sounds like, and we would do. It. And that was fun, man. It business was, to be made there. <laughs> it was a little not. You know, it's not like a normal podcast, I yeah. would say, but it was, I had a fucking blast doing it and I got a lot of good response from it too. So yeah, and you started a pretty good YouTube channel doing some stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. And then my end goal would be to like, say like pet comes on, I would love to have a room and a, like a control. So yeah. like, like a live performance. A, uh, yes. That would be sick. C something kind of like audio tree, but like my own version. Having one of those here, people would go nuts. I, I think like so. you could get that set up properly and everything to do it. Like how you like it. It's really expensive. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Especially for like 
like all that live for good quality yes. like for for making it worth it i think it definitely yeah. is going to take a lot of sacrifice in that yeah and the room. room has to be like a hundred percent soundproof there yeah. can be no deflection and no you know assholes around you that are going to stop you from whenever time of day you're trying to right. get things to happen yeah, like oh that it's too. 4 a.m and now you can't because the neighbors i say assholes i know people live their lives too yeah, you know. <laughs> like neither peace I think but... during the day there's an argument to be made but honestly past I think a fair time would be like 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of on you at that point. Isn't that kind of what the expectation was in, in the past? Any like a sound like... Well, they have a sound ordinance, but the problem is they initiated a DB now. Oh, you can't pass so a, a certain So deci- a certain decibel. But the even more bullshit thing is it's supposed to be where the call was placed, not from right outside the fucking door. Yeah. But the cops will just do it right there, and you're like, no, asshole. <laughs> they called from down the fucking yeah. block. Oh, Go Patty. the fuck down the block and do it. <laughs> oh, Patty was in her living room three yes. doors down. Go We're stand there to your levels. Shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, even this room right here, if they were out there playing right now, you'd hear it. But it's not like, oh. It just exists. It like just you exists. can hear it. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a bothersome thing. Like a commercial on while you're cooking food. Um, and when Pet was like doing the majority of the writing of the songs that will be like that we've been playing and that we'll be putting out here soon, uh, we went up to uh, Greer's Ferry. My grandma's had like a little what little it's, it's a very nice spot. I've always loved it up there. She has like a on the lake kind of like trailer kind of you know, spot that has been in our family for a long time. So we've gone up there for a long time. Uh, we packed up all of our stuff and like went up there, Ted and, uh, Pat like and a studio out there. No, but oh. we went out there and just set it all up in the living room oh, and, and because it, it, it is pretty secluded. Sweet. Like there's like, and the neighbor is not there. She, you know, sorry, Wanda, <laughs> she, uh, she broke her ankle or something. So she was not there. So it was like free. You know, there was nobody in the immediate uh. area. Or so we thought, ah. <laughs> because you know we wrote like three or four songs out there in like a weekend, like That's to be awesome, putting towards dude. that. So that there was a lot of good progression that came from doing that. But uh, the next I've day, I always wanted to do that, it, it, and that was what I felt too. I was yep. like, I was talking to the, those guys, being like, "There's a spot that we can go, just like hang out at, uh, cool, you know, man. just kick back and do our thing in our own time, and not have uh-huh. to worry about being done in a certain time or something like that." Um, but we did that, and that was awesome. Uh, the next day, though, this this lady came knocking on the door, and she was like, "You guys sound great." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you guys sound great, but but can you come help me move this boat in my yard? <laughs> it's like, you're like, well, uh, this is a little weird, so sure, we'll come yeah. move your boat yeah. because we don't know if you're going to like... <laughs> <laughs> to like punch us or something. If you if don't, don't call the cops when we play past the curfew, I yeah. will gladly come help you move your boat. Exactly. We were like, we, even exchange here. Come yeah. move your boat and you just keep liking it. <laughs> like that's what, like that's the thing. Like go to a lake, like in the Ozarks. Yeah. Secluded as fuck with all your stuff and just. Because I imagine the walls. Write an album. And that was how that felt. I wish we could do it again. That place probably is not going to be a, a thing for us very much longer because it's trying to be sold. But um, like it was definitely like a, a very progressive thing to happen yeah i I recommend that for anybody who can make it happen with the resources they have in terms of just like taking some time a weekend out to just go sit down and be more like you know your friendship there is like a big aspect too because you're hanging out with your man with your peeps bonding but then like whenever you want to be like oh this idea is pretty cool too so we should try and pick that thing we were doing earlier back up and you just pick up your shit nothing else to do yeah you sit there and rip that shit out for hours. Just get it done. <laughs> you just make sure that you're, uh, <laughs> we were doing it up there and, um, the like lights were flickering. <laughs> like uh, the that's power been fucking happening this whole time we've been in here. Yeah. The power we were concerned. Like, we were <laughs> like, uh, well, a forest fire in Greer's Ferry <laughs> trailer burns down with four idiots inside more at 10. I didn't want to be the guy, you know, you don't want to be that fucking guy. No. <laughs> it could have been, but we won't. <clears throat> Just got some cool songs out of it instead, so I'll take that exchange. You know, yeah. <laughs> Put the record out, yeah. But I'm, I'm I am excited to get that out here soon. I know that like Ted has. Are you been, doing, like, are you doing like are you shooting for like the full length? Or are you going to go EP? It'll style? be seven songs. Okay, it's seven songs on this first thing, a uh, pretty like four minute length or something. So it'd probably Average. be like a good like twenty five, yeah. twenty six minutes something. Um, but like I you know Ted has just been working hard on his bass stuff on it here recently mm. and doing really good stuff on that. Pat, of course, is solid as always on drums, and like Eric has just been like. Uh, very nice compliment guitar playing wise like, like we mesh pretty well playing guitar Hell together yeah. and everything too so it's pretty cool I'm excited for the uh, for whatever comes out of that seems like 2020 is going to be a pretty sweet for you too man 2020 is going to be a good time I'm excited for everything that's uh, that's on the horizon band wise too like with uh, the unnamed band gotta get a name goes. yeah gotta get some shows I'm pretty um, I was about to say scatterbrained I'm pretty shitheaded yeah. <laughs> at making names for things sure we'll use that word it's they exchange. just come they just come around man. i'm not a good namer 
That's why pet is P E T T. It's just all of our names. It's all of our first names put together. It's it's goofy. <laughs> so we all we all were in agreement that we were like we were just like name wise, we'll just do the easy thing here. And it also is pretty quirky or whatever too. So that works in its favor. I'll start uh, farming you some every time I hear something that sounds like a band name. I love that game. So not every, not everybody can do that with a band name putting their first letter. <laughs> what would y'all's band name be if all the first letters y'all's names? Oh the worst it's fucking two c's two j's and a t i'm going to see kaka jigita over the playing man fuck yeah dude no way not kaka jigita they're playing mahatawa my hands war and we're i mean it's so like we uh you know after after saying my hands to war for years you shorten it up so we're already a fucking shrinked up version mhtw and then people what's funny is when you say my hands to war they go what I, never in my life has anyone just ever got it. Do they f- connect with the abbreviation more than they do with the? No. Then they ask me what that stands for. Oh. So then I have to go my hands to war. Like yeah. I have to almost com- like a computer say it out, <laughs> program them to know I, what it is. <laughs> it's a mouthful of a band name. I'm gonna call it Mahudawa from now Mahudawa? on. Mahudawa. I'm Mahudawa. down. <laughs> I'm calling it Mahudawa from now on. Mahudawa too. hits yeah. the stage. <laughs> Omelets in hand. <laughs> also, by the Screaming way, scones. <laughs> playing this shit, weekend. I made a joke on our thing. I was like, "Did anyone in their whole entire fucking life understand that, that one day you would have to type the word omelet literally a thousand fucking times into your phone?" <laughs> you know what? It could be worse. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. It could be a worse food. I'm not like, bitching. I'm just saying yeah. it was a, a weird. Yeah. Like, cause everything for at least four days was omelet this, omelet that, <laughs> omelet. and it's just like, come on, man. The hour of the omelet. <laughs> the omelet hour. The Bob omelet hour. Todd, welcome back to the omelet. There's the Team show. It up. <laughs> Set. Hell yeah! See, see how it happens. If if nothing else comes from our chat here today, omelet hour. <laughs> some good ass name there ideas. You go. We just said we were bad at naming too. See, we're dumb. Just gotta have more conversations. <laughs> exactly, stupid ones. Organic. Yeah, yeah. Orga- it comes organic, organic conversation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that omelet better be organic too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I like uh, uh, some other band name Johnny. I got that one from my great grandmother. Oh, really? It was a town. It was a horse thief up in South Dakota, and Ooh. it was also the name of the school she went to. That's so, that's a pretty cool little back backstory for a name. I think. It was, yeah, it was legit. Lame and Johnny was a. Th- what do you think? What did he do? What was his game? He was just a horse, horse thief. thief. That's it, man. Oh, but the okay. So the weird part about it is, so he was a horse thief that went good, and after he went good, his team of guys came up. Robbed the train he was on, tied him up, and when the police got there, he was there tied up, so they hung him. Is there a movie on this? No, surprisingly, but he's very little known. His real name was Cornelius, Hell. and they named him Lame Johnny because he had a limp, and his thing was limping. <laughs> was... Yeah, because back then, Lame stood for something else. Okay, I was so definitely had, thinking. So his name was Limping John and then turned into Lame Johnny. And then, so I was like, that's a punk rock fucking name that right there. That is cool. But his story is, so when... They buried him. They didn't mark it. Oh. Somebody came up on him still hanging. They just left oh, him there. Oh, that's fucked. They buried him whole that they know of with a tiny little crappy tombstone. And then when they dug his body up because of something happened, his head was missing. So somebody dug his ass up and took his head. And then they put his shoes and shit in a museum. And the only last remaining bits of him, the museum burned to the ground. That's that's a crazy story. Well, here's even crazier. So in the <laughs> seventies, in the seventies, a, a jogger was jogging down a trail. They never found the the hideaway. That's how they were able to get away with so much okay. and rob. They never got caught. He mm. did, but he didn't get caught. He got bamboozled. Stockpile. So the jogger falls over a log and rolls down a ravine, and right there on the side of that ravine, he pulls down some branches and. They found their hideaway in the 70s. That's the last scene of the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is yeah. the last scene. Crazy. I was Before you said with the uh, lamp, like limp and lame connection there, I was like, how did the lame Johnny name come to be? And it's just like yeah. <laughs> some folks sitting there, their horses gone, yeah. and, they're, and they're just like, this is fucking lame. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I cannot believe yeah. this just happened w- to us. Words used to mean other <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> we are, they weren't all simple-minded like me back in the day, thinking uh, at – at glance, at first right, glance, what right. the words mean. He was anything but lame, it seems like. He went good. He went good. That's and a horse thief gone good. Yeah, horse thief gone good. Then he got killed, basically. Hell. His own guys 
you know he's they, like i should have just kept i should have stealing just kept, horses yeah just stealing horses and i think they had robbed the train because they wanted to go for bigger cash okay and he didn't so he left so that's what an awful timing awful timing. <laughs> he's just like taking a train he's like i'm, I'm good now I'm but then there's good. nothing left of him but up there in south dakota which is ironic so my family when they came over after or right before the war is when we came over here yeah to get away from uh, the Nazi Germany regime that was building up. And then, so they moved to South Dakota hmm. and there the school and the street. So if you actually look out here, I actually have a street sign above the door or was, I think it's probably packed up right now. Okay. But what was it? What did it say on it? Lane Johnny. Okay. Driver. <laughs> that yeah. is pretty cool. Did you ever bring that to the shows and stick it up? No, no, no. it's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so lame in the middle, right of, the in the middle stage. of the stage. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's fuck around. <laughs> Start playing. <laughs> yeah. You know what? If y'all ever uh, do a comeback, I'm all I'm saying. Cool We're idea. actually playing March. Uh, Where at? March uh, 6th at Neighbors Pub. Never been. Neighbors. It's in Sherwood, I think, or Neighbors. North Little Rock or something. Is that on? If, is it on Warden Road? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's it's like by a Waffle House and by like a sports academy. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Shit. Could I be. think I've been there. Yeah. Hey, everyone keeps telling me it's a weird spot, but it's like with the uh, Zaris and Hell Camino. And I did not imagine the them playing Gate. a show there. I didn't either. Yeah. But they asked, and I was like, you know, fuck, we haven't played since August. When is March 6th? I'm going to come out to that. That's it's, interesting. It's uh, coming up. Like three weeks, I think. Yeah. Here, I've got a fucking calendar. It's a Friday. Okay. It is a Friday? Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. That sounds interesting. That sounds It's also my brother's birthday, so. Happy but birthday he, to your brother that he day. He lives, like, way up north, so. I'll just, He's being a real lame Johnny. Yeah, he is a real <laughs> Not lame Not coming Johnny. on down. <laughs> No, he does like uh, he does like cement work for fucking water towers. So he's probably pretty uh, locked in on his schedule. He's for the pretty most locked part. in. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get a lot of time off. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, it's going to be fun. I think. I think. I mean, we haven't played in a while. But I bet it, it is. But in practice, it's been fun. So. Whenever I've been in there, just like if it's the place I'm thinking of, which I'm pretty positive it is. Uh, whenever I've been in there, it's been pretty. Real, it's been pretty laid back. Like people are there. Yeah, like, people go there to drink. Like yeah. that parking lot, pretty normally has like. I, th- I think more of the other bands will be more favored. If I'm just thinking about their style, because like Hell Camino is like fucking slow, like kind of like you know they got like some weird Sludgy stoner kind of, fucking yeah. metal shit, and it's I love them. I love all the bands that are on the bill. You just feel it's them just, fit in that like style. Of well, I like and them everything. and they like us. I think it's more, let's just hang out and people like lame Johnny. It's just, it's just a different speed from the other bands on the bill, which I'm all for too. I love a multi mix genre show. Yeah. And a place like that where people are used to just going and getting hammered anyway. Right. <laughs> then I mean, like you hey, play, you play well to them. I bet that they'll like it, whatever it is right. too. So that's also a factor at play, but, and, and we know. have the anti solo, in yeah. one of our songs because I can't solo so I just yeah. straight up made one that's literal <laughs> shit it's never the same twice hold on to your pants folks yeah. it's gonna get real <laughs> 12 get into it. 14 uh, 3 <laughs> 7 just all I just moved my hands back and forth got your numbers up yeah. on, the, on the frets we were talking about earlier <laughs> yeah. slide it alright cool man I wish I had a slide I knew I forgot 3 had the dot <laughs> I mean I four. could literally do it with a paint can and it would sound about similar <laughs> like one of those finger slides yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I, they don't make them for my fat fucking fingers. I would love to have a slide. Cut a hole in a paint can. <laughs> <laughs> just like ran that on there. I am innovative, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to make shit happen. Hell yeah. <laughs> you want to wrap this up, man? Yeah, man. It's been a great time. I've it's enjoyed been a this a lot. Blast, dude. Give me yes. Tell everybody where to. Well, I guess you only got two bands yeah right well now. pet does have an instagram page right now okay. i think it's uh i don't get that exact one uh we do have some shows for pet coming up so mm. i'll go ahead and shout those out um i know that we've got one april 22nd and that is going to be at if i get my shit together and find the details like i am going to do now may 20 okay so it's april 22nd we've got that we're playing at uh, playing with Choir Boy, which I've never listened to Choir Boy before, but I've heard nothing but good things mm-hmm. about them, and apparently that's going to be a great show. I think um, Orr is playing that as well, okay. too, so I'm pretty excited about that. We just, we just played with Orr the other night, and they're great. Um, and they just like have like, this droney synth style to them, and they nice. like still jam pretty hard on some it's stuff, too. It's going pretty hot. Yeah, and they're good at it. They run it really cool. well. They got a lot of, like, they know how to w- play with what they're using. Right. You know? <laughs> and uh, we also have one May 23rd. Where uh, is that show? That is going to be at... 
Ooh, that would have been a cool detail to have. Mm. Oh, it's at Vino's. Vino's. I think it okay. is at Vino's. Yeah. And uh, the one on May 23rd is going to be at Whitewater. I don't know exactly who is playing that one off the top of my head, but it will be happening. Hell yeah. So just April 22nd, May 23rd, a month apart on April those. April 22nd. I think I'm. Oh, I can't say. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm playing a Some couple secrets. nights later, but I can't say who with. But uh, yeah, I got that. That yeah, I could just come. To well, that, that sounds one, exciting. That then. Already be like. Yeah. I need to go to Vino's anyway. Yeah, and I haven't been in a, in a minute myself, too. I, I haven't need been to, in a, a couple of weeks. I need some pizza. I need to make me a show a show stop there whenever I see one happening next. Um, but, yeah, that's happening. Uh, recordings should be I'm, – I'm hoping my hardest that we will be done <laughs> yeah. recording Pets stuff uh, within, like, the like within a month or Hell so, yeah. like a month or two. Realistically, a two thing. Like, you never want to box yourself in on stuff right. like that. But um, So, hopefully, that will be finishing up really soon. Uh, Chris and Zach have been putting their – recordings down on the new band as far as that's concerned um evan has been finalizing his like lyrics and everything like that that he for sure wants involved um and i am ready to to record my stuff Sick. for that whenever it comes down to it whenever it so comes, becomes time so it's all looking it's all looking up hell yeah man glad Shit's to hear up. it hell yeah bruh uh i'm on instagram twitter talk like this like from boston uh fucking facebook there uh, f- fucking <laughs> the lights are flickering. It's Cloverfield flickering in here, fucking folks. Lights are fucking with me. <laughs> Crash Cast Pod Twitter. Crash Cast Pod One. Uh, everybody, thank you for listening. And if I've got, and if you want to follow me on there too, it's T Three Wise T E on Instagram. <laughs> I don't post anything ever. <laughs> you can follow it on there, and you can forget I exist after a certain amount of time. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. <laughs> bye bye.